back in the day, nothing beat the feeling of competing in your favorite 2K event with your friends, especially when everyone had at least some chance at winning. And if you did manage to come out on top, you unlocked all of the unlimited boosts. And any avid 2K player knows that unlimited boost was the most sought after prize due to it making you perform better and also saving you a ton of VC. But times have changed. You no longer can unlock every unlimited boost for winning one 2K event. These days, winning one event will only unlock you one singular unlimited boost, meaning you would have to win every event to have every boost. Not to mention, these events are infested with cheaters. These players will spend hundreds of dollars on equipment where if you turn your shot meter on, it color codes the green in your green window on your meter and allows you to make almost every shot. These events are also infested with boosters that find ways into dead servers like Brazil, Europe, or Asia to play against their friends over and over to maximize their my points, which can fully guarantee them an event win. And you'd think these players would get banned for cheating, but unfortunately, that almost never happens. So yeah, winning an event in 2024 with just your typical controller, your own thumb, while playing in your own servers against random people the game matches you up with is incredibly difficult, as you can imagine. So this year, I challenged myself to not only win one event, but every event by playing each event one by one, inserting each unlimited boost one by one to eventually complete this event gauntlet and become the Thanos of 2K. The only rules are no jump shot meter and no playing the same people over and over for hours straight like most of these event winners do. Now, just to give an idea of how difficult this challenge really is, if I do somehow complete this challenge, I will most likely be the only person to do it so with that being said drop a like hit that subscribe button and let's rewind all the way back to september where this challenge started what is good youtube it's your boy henry aka double h back at it with yet another video and i don't know when y'all are gonna be watching this video i don't know if i'm posting this in january next summer i literally have no clue all I know is I'm starting this challenge to try to win every single event this year to try to unlock every single unlimited boost. And yeah, it's season one right now. Today's date is September 21st. So the game has been out for like a couple weeks now, but they really haven't updated the event list until today. And that's why I'm recording this right now, because just a couple minutes ago, I tweeted out that they recently just put this event called Cage Match on the event schedule. Now, it's not coming out for another nine days, but on September 30th, this event is coming out and honestly people are speculating that it's going to give out unlimited boost because there's like multiple different event like times for it and it's four hours but i don't know personally i would be genuinely surprised if this gives out unlimited boost just because like it's cages like we've seen this before why would cages give out unlimited boost but i guess we're just gonna have to wait and see and yeah i guess i'll see y'all on september 30th if this is giving out unlimited boost We have a lock, bro. It's clear perfect. What the? F Yo, do we get a slasher? Do we get a slasher? It's cages. We just get a normal, bro. Go, 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 go. We don't have a lockdown, bro. What event is this? I don't know, bro. Bro, this okay. is the only time we're gonna win. No one woke up for this shit, bro. Yours, I got a teammate coming. Uh, I'm just reading everything. Um, so I think it's my points based. Mine is leaderboards. Oh my god. Bro, bro you get unlimited boost. Listen, listen, bro, listen, listen. This is what we have to do. This is what we have to do, Swags. Listen, we actually have to lock in okay listen we need my points bro every single play me and you need to be involved whether that's an assist or a basket so as you could tell by my reaction i was stunned that this cage match event was giving out unlimited boost and this time it would be unlimited rebounding boost the first unlimited boost being given out in an event of all of 2k24 now if you don't know what cage match is or what this event entails let me go ahead and explain it to you while also showing some highlights of our first attempt in this event Go ahead and cue the music. The Slam Ball Cages event. A four hour event where the players with the most my points that finish top five win unlimited boosts and more. But there's a twist. The court is filled with trampolines where there is no three point line. There is no out of bounds. There are no fouls. There is no adrenaline. There's no goaltending. You can push people and there is plenty of high flying. So it's time to lock in. You know, we play double eight. Nah, we gotta smoke for the ball. Smoke. Bro, that's not the real double H, bro. I'm on that. I'm on that. Oh my god. I tackled him. Get off. Yo, give me that. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Come on. Come on. Give me that. That's a snatch block. Oh, put the fing ball down, you little random. This kid just going up with like, anything, bro. Dude, look at this little fing bitch. 
Dunking right, everything, bro. Pass it, pass it. What, what are you shooting? What? I get on locked. Just, oh, locked. what? That's actually so late. They're on the lob. He's there on the lob. Get there, get there. Oh my, I'm Superman. Oh my God, he's going to get us on board. He's he's gonna gonna on so I can't get on him. I got a five-year-old in game chat freaking out. <laughs> so you're telling me this just jumped from the mid range. Now double H number five. Double H number five. I guess I'm not making the first 2.4 core ever. I guess. I guess. <laughs> now, unfortunately, our first attempt didn't go as planned. We didn't really catch on to the meta of this event as early as we should have. And not only that, apparently there were a lot of people boosting this event too, because this is what I was saying during the event. People are literally in the top 10, not about to get top. They're about to not get top five and they're boosting. That's actually sad. Like, be better at boosting. Please be better. Please be better at boosting. Like, please. The next one's not until an hour from now. So after waiting an hour for the next cage match event, I loaded up with a new squad and I went with attempt number two. And we knew exactly what to do this time. We had Swags going for rebounds and blocks. We had me going for assists and points. And we were both trying to reach that leaderboard spot to unlock these unlimited rebounding boosts. But not only that, something that we didn't know that was going on in our first attempt was every team that won that event was not only doing stuff they shouldn't have been doing, but they were doing something called having an inviter, which is something we could have been doing as well. So basically all you do is you have a friend that sits in the event center and he sends you a game invite right when your game ends. And the reason that people do this is because the time that it takes to accept that invite, invite your friends to the squad, and then go back into the tunnel to get another game is much quicker than waiting through the loading screen, see how much my points you got, loading back into the tunnel, then waiting for a match. So yeah, it's much faster to just get an invite and to just load up with your squad immediately, which saves a lot of time and then also gets you a couple extra games in throughout these four hours. Now, we were absolutely hawking in this event. I mean, I'm talking, we didn't lose a single game all four hours. We were ending every game within like four to six minutes. And unfortunately, we still came up short and I finished at ninth place. And me and my teammate were not happy about it because there was a lot of people still cheating these events like usual. Like we're literally the most, we're the only legit team on the leaderboard. Literally. Yeah, no, this happened, bro, this literally happened last year when I played, like, boot camp and all the other events, bro, I always, I'm always the only one that, that's on the leaderboard legitly. Like, it, it makes no sense, bro. Are they ever gonna do something about these boosters, dog? They say they ban boosters. If they're gonna ban the boosters, ban the boosters and give the kids that deserve your the rewards. The fucking rewards, dog. The way we just this is why I don't tweet you like this, because it's just, if you're just a random and you're hearing me say, oh yeah, every person ahead of me is boosting, like, you just think I'm a delusional like i'm not i'm not down 100k bro like what i went undefeated yeah. ending games in five minutes or less every single game last yeah. last server fifth was 438 so we still wouldn't have won last server but it doesn't matter they're boosting we would have won this server but this server that we just played was easier we wouldn't have been in top 10 last server the server's got to get easier right like they already won nah. their shit why would they nah. boost again Right? Don't wake up at 5 a.m. to boost. I know, well, I know. Sometimes what they, they like are. to do is like get paid by someone else to get on their account. But like, come on, bro. Within an hour, are they really gonna get in the account? They don't make a lot. Like this might be the yeah. money server right here. So for attempt number three, I decided to go ahead and make a whole new build, switch positions completely. And that's because the, I noticed in the first two servers that centers would tend to get more my points per game. So if I make a center, it's going to make my chances even higher of winning this event. And I need as high as chances as possible while competing against these other people. So I decided to go 90 standing dunk. You know, we can dunk it under the rim. 92 pass sack so I can just chuck the ball down court to my guard. That's going to be cherry picking. I went with a 99 offense rebound just in case if my guard does miss. I could just go ahead and get that Superman animation and get every single rebound. And I get Hall of Fame rebound chaser. I went with a 92 block so I can block as many shots as possible because as y'all know there's no goaltending so i could jump up and block some shots also with a high interior i got interceptors so i can at least read a lane if i need to and then of course high strength high vertical for the rebounds and positioning under the rim and yeah we're gonna bring this build out for attempt number three and we're gonna see how it goes so here goes my team i was playing with enzo who was on another center build just not as tall as mine and i was playing with kasha who's on guard who would cherry pick you see he's pushing people around he's getting loose balls like this cages match event is like basically football and basketball come on you got pushing you got shoving you got tackling you got people bumping you up against other 
other cages. Me and Enzo are both tr trying to time the blocks. And basically, I'm just going to show you guys this first game because this was kind of the method we used for the entire four hours of the event. Basically, me and Enzo would sit in the paint on defense, try to block the shots, try to get the rebound, and just chuck the ball down court to cash up. Now, our team was in agreement that they were trying to get me in the uh, top five. So I was going for every assist. I was going for as many rebounds as possible, as many blocks as possible, and just trying to put up basically as many stats as possible. You see, Cash is just not playing any defense because he don't got to. You can look, he's shoving people against the wall. Like he'll press them on the on the inbound. But other than that, it's just gonna be me and Enzo sitting in the paint, trading, you know, opportunities to block these jump shots or contest the trampoline dunks in the paint. You see, I you know, I didn't get to swat that one, but I'm trying to swat it. We're trying to get it. That was our first basket of the game. And I just chuck it down with what my, I think I have like gold dimer, hall of fame break starter. I'm just chucking it down there for a free assist. Look at cash has got takeover. Plus our offense is a lot more smoother when someone's cherry picking because it gives them a lot less chance of goaltending or blocking the shot when there's no defenders back. You see right there, he blocks it. So that's why we need as many fast breaks as possible to end these games as fast as possible. But not only that, like I said earlier, we're also gonna have that inviter for attempt number three. So we're, we've got everything ready. We got the position, we got the build, we got the inviter, we got the meta, I guess you could say. We just have to execute, end these games fast, win our comp games, and secure this top five by the end of the four hours but look at we're still in this game right here enzo can shoot on his build as well so if we didn't you know pop out for an easy assist we can go ahead and do so but yeah i'm activating rim take every time so i can get more blocks more rebounds see where the rebound is going to and just like that you see we accept the invite we go into our next game so now it's just time to lock in right so about an hour in i was you know in the top five throughout the entire time we were hawking we were ending game stats you see right here i have 10 assists and eight rebounds so there would be some games where cash out would miss a lot and i'd have like 15 rebounds see i'm first place i'm literally first place 160k my points i am first place like we finally found what how people were getting so many my points like my guard i was getting like what 10 to 12k probably what cash out was getting when we were playing this event but the centers were if they played good which i was playing good on my center you know i was filling up the stats getting my rebounds getting my assists getting my blocks sometimes a couple steals if they played good they'd get anywhere from like 13 20k a game you know what i'm saying so it was crazy like centers were getting so much more so that's why in that you know this first server dudes were like 100k my points ahead of me so we had finally figured it out so now it was just about executing you know we got to win our games we got to fill the statue I mean, look at this game i have nine rebounds and nine assists who knows how many blocks and steals but i mean we're just going crazy and like i said there'd be some possessions like this where maybe cash out misses twice three four times but i'm gonna just get the rebound because my center build had a 99 offensive rebound right here we are still first place bro we are literally locked in i was so locked for this i was like we gonna secure the unlimited rebounding boost and yeah i didn't this build could that was on couldn't shoot like i was just on a 7-3 that was just getting rebounds blocks and assists that's literally all i was doing right sometimes occasional standing duck and look at it we're still blowing out teams just like we did in the first server even with a whole new team different lineup like no one was getting many points on us sometimes other teams would get you know a little closer but we would still end up winning like the first server we didn't lose the game so far in this server we haven't lost the game this dude's trying to post hook on us which is actually really you know op and cages i swat his stuff look at i have nine nine multiple blocks i'm getting so many stats which is equating to so many my points you see now i'm second place though someone ended up passing me but it's okay as long as we finish top five we're good you see this team is 20 to 16 they end up missing that cash out still cherry picking even though it's a four point game easy assist look at 10 assists seven rebounds that game look at this game we're now third place though so we're dropping a little bit but we're halfway through the event so we have been top five for two hours straight we have two hours left so all we gotta do is just continue to stay in the top five we're good look at this game i mean i have a double double i literally had 12 rebounds and 11 assists I mean, I am completely hawking right now. We're second place. So right now, I'm, I haven't really had first place since like the first hour and a half. So right now, I'm going in between like second and third. I haven't dropped the fourth yet, though. So we're just continuing to lock in. You know, we check boards after every game, you know, or every other couple games just to make sure. Some This game, I had to end with a standing dunk because Castro just couldn't hit a shot at the end of the game. And look, I'm still second place. We're good to go. We're getting into another game. And we're ending some of these games really fast. But this game right here. We played against a dude that was like sixth place, 18 to 18. 
We're locked in. Enzo wide open. Pump fakes. Hits cash on the off ball. We need this win. And he doesn't get blocked. He greens it. This is a must win. This is going to affect a lot of the leaderboards. This dude wide open. Enzo jumps. I'm staying in the paint. I'm not getting baited. This dude wide open. I don't jump. And he greens 20 to 20. We need a bucket. This is a must win game against another dude that's top 10. Enzo for three. Gets it to go. Enzo ice in his veins. I mean, that wasn't a three, but it was a two. You know what I'm saying? But that was a big game that dude was like fifth place he ended up dropping a couple spots be because of that and we're still top three so we're gonna go i don't know what that was by the way i threw it off the backboard but we end this game really fast hey, dude look at we're hawking i don't know how that dude is 20k ahead of me but we're second place we haven't lost a game in this server yet we are literally getting like double doubles near double doubles you know on our bad games getting multiple blocks every single game we get not I, i'm finishing this game with 10 assists and eight rebounds bro oh actually we got a pass to assist there so nine assists eight rebounds look at i'm second place 307,000 my points an hour and a half into the event what was the last event i was on guard i finished with like 379,000 my points that's the whole event so we're easily going to pass that in this event you see i try to get to a pass to assist right here i don't think it ended up getting it but we end that game so it doesn't matter if we're out that game and I was locked. I was averaging like two blocks a game, like near 10 rebounds a game, near 10 assists a game. We were going crazy, but this is another very good example of game. You see, we're playing a decent team. I actually didn't end up seeing their player guards, but we're playing a team right here and we're up two to zero. This is another very good example game of how we play. Cash out, cherry pick it 24 seven. Maybe he'll come down like this just to rush the possession. We want the other team's offensive possessions to go by as fast as possible. I get the rebound, immediately throw the ball down the court to cash out for an easy two. And those fast breaks were really important because, you know, a lot of the things that, or the thing that makes some of these cages games take a long time is when the other team blocks your shot. So if he's cherry picking, no one can block his shot because no one's even on that side of the court. So that's a very good, you know, thing. And that's why, you know, us getting defensive stops, me and Enzo in the paint, you know, even though we only have two defenders is very key. That makes the games end a lot faster. So right here, you see, we're getting a lot of stops. Cash out's like pushing people and stuff and that's working. And we're up 10 to eight. Like we're, we're, or not today. We're up like 10 to zero. So we're really locked in right now. 12 to zero right here. You see, I'm getting blocks. I'm locking in. Like I have six assists, two rebounds. It's 12 to zero. Picasso hits me. I throw it right back to him because he wants to make sure I get my assist. It's 14 to zero guys. Cash out is cherry picking every play. Look at us. These dudes are trying. Like, obviously, they're not very good at cages. They are trying their best. They cannot score the ball, and we only have two defenders. It got to the point where, you see, this dude started guarding cash out while their team was on offense because they just weren't scoring. Look at it. He throws it up. He actually just misses anyways. Um, we try to get a stop right here. He misses that because we're both centers with good interior defense in the paint. At this point, I'm throwing flashies. This dude's flopping. I mean, they're down 20 to 0. They literally, they're all cold. Guys, they're all cold. They are, try, they are trying their best to score. They can't score. They literally could not score. We had two defenders the whole game. We just 22 owed them with cash on cherry picking like the whole game. So of course we're going to keep cherry picking. So that was like, that was like really like a crazy game. Like well, obviously we're not 22 and owing every team, but literally at 22, eight, like we're blowing out teams with two defenders with me and Enzo's, you know, meta in the paint. And if you didn't hear me earlier, our meta in the paint was, okay, we're communicating who's going to jump when. So you're going to jump first and then I'm going to jump on the second one. And we're going to try to get as many blocks as possible, as many stops as possible to get the easy fast breaks. But anyways, I'm still second place. The event is getting closer and closer to the end. At this point, I'm just hoping that the timer goes down faster and faster and faster because time is on my side i need that timer to hit zero right now i'm in the top five you see now i'm dropping the third there's an hour left one hour left we have been in top five literally the entire event ends with a clutch steal right there those steals really helped out they made the games end a lot faster i get the assist right there i only had two rebounds in this game look at this only two rebounds but look at my rebounds started going crazy for game point because they started they decided that they were just gonna block every shot get the assist so there we go third place I am third place right now. You know, the second, third, and fourth, we were all fighting with each other. Like, we were all like a 1,000, 2,000 mod points within each other. So, we were kind of, you know, going, you know, between each other, you know, cycling through those one, two, and three spots. You see, 
I was just now what Casha was telling me when we were looking at these leaderboards every time we backed out of uh, the thing and joined um, the event center was just look at sixth place. Stop looking at third. Stop looking at where first is at. As long as you are ahead of sixth place by a lot, then you're chilling. So that's what I started doing because uh, he's right. You know, someone would have to get into the top five and pass me and I would have to go even you know further down. So if I'm a, you know, a couple games ahead of sixth, then I'm chilling. You know, no one's going to be able to take my spot, right? So right here, I get a rebound. You see, I got nine, 10 assists, seven rebounds that game. And look at, I'm fourth place, 450,000. Once again, like one or 2,000 within like second and third. And this is the lowest spot I've ever been in. Like I've been top five, basically the whole event. Fourth is the lowest spot I've been in. So I'm kind of getting worried, but then I'm looking at six and I'm like, bro, I'm like two, three games ahead. Like I should be chilling unless we like, really sell this event badly we would have to sell bad but leah right here and i'm just taking the standing down because you know they couldn't hit a shot at the end there so i was like let's just get out of this game as long as we get out of these games and we're ending games at a decent rate and we're not losing then we're gonna go because we still haven't lost a game like I, there was like seven servers of this cages event obviously we lost sometimes but the two servers i'm showing in this video we literally didn't lose a game in either server we probably played like 35 games in each i don't know how many games exactly but that's 70 and 0 for this video i'm not gonna lie to you like we were locked in brother cages we we, we we a top cages team you know you know fucking fucking st uh, top stage team we we a top cages team you know what i'm saying who can really say that anyways fast break going for the assist cash hits me back i'm just trying to end this game so i just take the easy layup and there is two minutes left i am third place third place we end up going into another game just in case because you know but if some miracle happens i don't want to you know end up losing i was like 20k ahead of you know six but you know you could get 20k in a game you see the top left the event ends up ending um and a new thing this year is your my points don't count at the last game the only thing that counts is your win bonus at in this last game so you get like an extra two thousand for a win bonus that's about it and look at i got all the pretty close to started three anyways the event ended we got third place we got our unlimited rebounding boost all the tier one prizes and the 25,000 VC, and we have won the first ever unlimited boost event. But as you can see, the rebounding boost is unlimited. It has the infinity sign. We did get the unlimited boost. You see, I got the jersey. You see, I got the arm sleeve. And we received really all the rewards from the cage match event. So let's go ahead, check the rebounding boost off the list. And now I guess it's really just time to wait for this event schedule to update to see when the next event is gonna come out and who knows what boost it's gonna give out. But all I know is when that event schedule does update and when that event does come, we're gonna be ready. Today's date is currently October 2nd, 2023, and I'm recording this because we have now found out our next event that is giving out unlimited boost because the 2K League tweeted out this graphic of a 5v5 2K League event that is going to be taking place on the weekend of October 12th to October 15th, and they confirmed that it is going to be giving out unlimited finishing and dunk boost now they had this event last year too so it's it kind of already know what to expect i'm probably just gonna have to pick up a 5v5 team and basically just try to get up as many stats as possible in each 5v5 game and these events are gonna be six hours long so two hours longer than that cages event that we had played but honestly these events are probably the easier ones to win because they're positional based so if i'm a point guard i'm only competing with other point guards to get into that top five so hopefully we can win i'm I'm gonna get a squad together to compete and honestly i'm feeling pretty confident with this one this should be one of our easier attempts at winning an event this year So we went ahead, loaded into the 2K League 5v5 event for the first time. This is the first time it had ever came out in 2K24, and we're, we're in, right? Now, at the time when I walked in with my squad, I didn't know what the reward's going to be, but we did know that it was going to be squads allowed. But we found out that top three unlimited awards received draft eligibility to the 2K League, and top five received unlimited dunk boost and some extra clothing, like a 2K League jersey and some arm sleeves. Now, this event was going to be six hours long, so longer, longer than the typical event only 5v5 games so i went into the the thing right we go to the door i'm with my squad we're battle load into our first game now the leaderboards were position based so i'm at point guard so i'm going to be competing with other point guards on the leaderboard and you see this is the squad we're running with you see i got my back end on the far left then we got my two guard right next to me who's going to be wrapping me hey i'm going to be hitting him to get some assists every once in a while the back end's going to be shooting some corner threes playing good defense on the pick and roll and then we have my lockdown who's going to be guarding ball and hopefully playing some good defense and 
And then we have our center who's going to be getting rebounds and setting these screens. So yeah, six hours left on the event. But before we get into the actual longer gameplay, let's go ahead and show you guys why this event meant more than a typical event. Last year, I qualified for the 2K League Combine. And after taking over in the open and closed combine, I was offered a player contract. But this is a whole new year. A whole new 2K. And today would be my first 5v5 showcase in front of 2K League scouts. 13 5v5 games over the course of six hours to see what kind of numbers I can put up as the point guard, the leader of the team. Just like y'all heard me say a bunch of different 5v5 games during this six hour event. Now I did play this event multiple times and we're going to get into the gameplay. And I'm gonna show you guys the box scores a lot of these games because obviously we can't go through every single game fully. And I'm gonna show one game where I scored the most points out of any of the other games fully but before we do get into that let's at least show you guys some highlights which include some live commentary of me and my teammates during some of these intense moments throughout these games Reboard. oh what? my oh, god i knew that one nah i'm not gonna lie because no one's better than me look at me bro you see me i never seen you do that before yeah, yeah. Square, square, square. hit square hit square hit square i did they're double teaming in the corner I got box again. I don't need oh box. My oh god. god damn. Oh Bro, my god. god. We're playing another logo. Two logos. Yeah, we're playing two logos. They're making them, we're missing them. We gotta lock in. The whole team is guarding me. I'm literally getting quadruple team. I don't care. I'm gonna pull me. I don't care. I don't care. That's green! Just give me the ball. Just give me the ball. Just give me the ball. Four seconds. Go for board. Go for board. Oh, I'm like that. Oh, I'm like right. that! Nah, this, shot, uh, nah, this might be the craziest game ever. Oh my gosh, we're breaking records. Oh. Oh. You leave him though. Yo, run the play, Five. run the play. We gotta get this we game winner. Come on. So obviously I was going off in this event and that's right. Yeah, I was going crazy. This score right here, I mean, you guys see complete blowout. Uh, this is my 76th point right here with that layup. 15 assists. This is more one of my personal lowest scoring games of this event which tells you something. We literally dropped 76 points, but that game alone already put me in the top five. You can see each game is about 30 minutes. We still have five and a half hours left, but the next game we played two 2K logos, Uncle Demi and Tiller, and they hit a corner three right here, putting them up here late in the fourth, up by one, eight seconds left. We need a game winner. Let's hop into the live commentary. Go live. We gotta as soon as I catch the ball, uh, sell back door. All right. X. You should, you should go up. So that was a huge clutch backdoor right there. Five seconds left though. They have a chance to go up and win it. They can take a two. They can take a three. Literally any bucket they get could result in a win. They hit back the inbounder. Sharp takeover trying to shoot right over to the fender. And no, that's not going to go in. So we actually end up sneaking away with a win right there. And yeah, I did lie. 76 points was my lowest amount of points. 19 points, I guess was, but 76 is not, it's one of the lower ones. Okay, there we had we had some good games like this one right here where I dropped 97, 97 points in 10 assists on 81% shooting from three. And look at last possession. I got the whole team covering me and I still get to 99 points. Then I get to 100, but it's okay. I mean, look at this box score, man. I mean, this is crazy. I shot 36 three-pointers. Now, keep in mind, my entire team throughout this event knew I was trying to win. So, like, they didn't have a problem with me scoring all these points. So, it's not like I was ball and people were mad. Like, these people knew what they were getting into, right? Fast break on this next game. Look at 95 points, 14 assists, shooting 72% against this team. Look at the whole team on me by the last possession. I mean, literally the entire team covering me right here. Just, just insane stuff, y'all. Another box score here, 95 points, 14 assists, like I said. Going into the next game, another ball. What are we up by, like, almost 90 points right here? I'm trying to get to 100 points. One second, I mean, I'm just triple teamed. 97 points and 9 assists is perfectly fine. I mean, y'all seen when I dropped 76, we were already third. So, these 90-plus point games, I mean, they're more than good enough, right? We're easily going to win this event. And y'all are going to see that we end up do winning the event right here. 78 points, 11 assists with that step back three. Dude, look at these scores. We're winning by, like, 50, 70 90 I mean, it's just it's not even fair right now this game was a little close if that spin shot i showed y'all in the highlights where i hit that clutch contested spin that was this game right here but i shoot the front fade to go ahead give that dagger to them giving us a seven point lead 
yeah we end up stealing this game right here it was a little close we only had 35 and 12 with five steals though which is still an insanely good game and that's what gave me a big advantage on some of these teams because i was getting steals because this build i had out here did have a steal but look at this 91 points at the buzzard along with 10 assists so even though i'm scoring like 80 70 90 these games dude i'm getting double digit assists like almost every single game uh so that was another win then we get into this one we almost win by 100 i had 118 points and by the way yeah there's games that y'all haven't seen yet where i score even more points now that game wasn't that specific event you see i was playing with badge plug and solo so that wasn't that event but i just threw it in there just to show y'all but anyways this game was a part of the event uh that we did win 129 points nine assists um you can tell by my team too the the event team that i went with was this team right here with swags um you know cell and uh, 8191 our shooting guard ch changed throughout the event though but look at this next game 130 points dude we're almost up by 100 and now we are up by 100. I mean, that's insane. We literally won this game by 100 points. I had 133 points, six assists. And you're probably thinking, all right, how much crazier can, get, can it get than this? Well, guess what? We have two more games to show y'all where we score more than 133. And the final game I'm going to show y'all is the most points we scored this entire event. And we're going to show the full game of that. So right here is the final game that we're going to show that we don't show the full game. 142 points. We end up getting to 145 points. But hey, drop a look in the video if you're watching at this point in the video. But let's show one full game, at least from this event. But this time, it's going to be a game where I score even more than 145. Game number five and going into the last and final game, we had just an hour and a half left in this event. The event I ended up getting my draft combine invite from and we were first place. All we had to do was coast our way to the finish line. And yup, you guessed it, in another different random teammate this time and he was pretty solid. But this scoring record game would top them all. The fifth and final game is officially here. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel because this game right here is the highest scoring game in 2K League 5v5 public tryouts history. And you are here to witness it. Also drop a like in the video and let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see more Pro-Am and rec content outside of this 2K League series because I would definitely bring it to y'all. We're also gonna have an ISO build that I have um, coming. I'm gonna be playing a lot of stage, a lot of competitive series with, uh, so make sure to look out for those videos as well. A lot of competitive content coming to you guys in 2K24, so make sure to let me know what you guys think of that. Also some creative content as well, like usual. But anyways, getting into game number five. We have to have a good start, right? So many slow starts in this video. If we're gonna break 145 points, right? We gotta have a better start. Off the rip, they're fouling on the on the, the slip right there. This guy's all over me, so I just throw the slip again. We get the easy dunk, and look at what we say after this rebound. Oh, it's one of those games. Oh, so it's one of those. It's games. one of those. It's one of those. It's one of those. <laughs> come on, come on. I mean, we literally called it from the jump after their first miss. We're talking about this is one of those games and y'all already i mean if you've watched the, the the other side of this video you know exactly what we're talking about we don't even need to explain ourselves easy fast break pull up front fade three and wow we haven't missed a shot so far six points two assists we have not missed keep that in mind fast break right here i'm just shooting the fade and wow we make that that is an open still have not missed three for three from three swags is fighting for his life down there in the paint throws it up front fade he checks sharp fade green we still have not missed a hundred percent from three to start this game by far our best start to a game of this entire video right here spin fade midi we still have not missed a shot two minutes over two minutes left in this game spin fade three over two people and that's our first miss of this gameplay 83 percent from three we get another steal right here once again i was averaging about three and a half steals throughout the combine and wow we were shooting shot about each other not the combine the uh, public trial but anyways look at my boy cell though he's there for me he gets the lane steal we're shooting the green on the off ball movement and link hit the score y'all it's already a 20 point game sell with another steal to swags to me in the corner for three that's green and that's a yellow and it don't matter 78 percent from three look at me getting the steal too i'm telling y'all man i was getting styles for us out here i'm going to the corner trying to get some off ball moving there swags with the slip i say i don't care i don't care about that slip give me that three give me three one two three we going all the way with it 
26 points, two assists. That's an A plus. We got heat check. We got to go. What is he jumping at? What is he jumping at? That's green. 33 to 5. I mean, wow, it is not even close in the first quarter. Has even hit it. I mean, damn, another three. That is 32 points already. I can beat the record this game. Not even care. I mean, you, you heard me. You heard me. I literally said we can set the record this game. Not even kidding. And I was right. I had back up on a three right there the first time I had ever done that in this entire video. So we getting them extra points. These guys are calling timeout after timeout, trying to figure things out. How do we tell them they're not going to figure things out? I'm about to have 35 points in the first quarter. 35 in the first quarter not bad not bad i'm over here saying not bad bro that's amazing 35 and a quarter most people don't even ever finish with 35 in a game i mean that is insane i'm sure my subscribers though i already know y'all be hooping out there let me know how many points y'all be scoring in the wreck because a lot of y'all be playing wreck and pro -Am. i already know y'all are hooping out there because if you're a subscriber of me i'm already knowing you good at this game man. all right i'm already knowing y'all are some goats out there heat check i'm getting the ball right back I'm going over here. I'm getting the double team. That dude almost blitzed me right there. There's three guys following me, and they still cannot get to me. Corner fade three. That's another green. 41 points at 87%. These guys are calling a timeout because they can't even get the ball up the court. I mean, wow, they are genuinely struggling. And at the same time, they are genuinely trying to stay in the game that they are down 40 in now. Oh, my gosh. They try to come up with a plan. They can't think of anything. And they are down 51 to 9. And I mean, think about it. Every game in this video, yes, my teammates are coming up clutch. Cell's playing great defense. 8 1 playing great defense. Swags is doing good on the boards, passing me, but they're losing the on offense. I mean, they're really just losing the one guy. I mean, that's got a crazy heat check. Three green. You know, my teammates are setting off balls. They're setting great screens. The movement's great. The spacing is great. But I mean, look at this. I'm shooting over these people. There are two people jumping at me. It don't matter. Two and a half minutes to go in the half. And we have 56 points. Fast break. Three. Y'all don't even need a look, man. Close my eyes. Tell me what color it is. Let me know. 59 points, two assists. And there is still two minutes left. Another timeout. I don't know what the purpose of them calling them timeouts for because it wasn't helping it definitely wasn't doing that 66 to 12 we have 62 points another steal by sell i got heat check i'm fading the midi whatever just take my points 64 points i am shooting 92 percent from field goal wow that is insane look at there is four guys guarding me on this position they have just had enough there's we have wide open teammates we don't care we have enough forcing it to me get a turnover but wow that's just a funny possession to look at that is insane swags ends up getting the stop though and what do you know we throw it right back down to me swags trying to get the assist i'm trying to get something back fade three and i'm missing that could have grained that but it was a pretty good success good offensive rebound leads to a wide open three pointer 67 points two assists this is looking fantastic. It's not even halftime, guys. It's not even halftime. I mean, even I thought, okay, yeah, it's probably the third. It's not even halftime yet. There is three guys guarding me right here. I'm looking to get anything. I end up having to just settle, but Cell ends up just throwing it off the backboard. It goes out of bounds. Not sure what happened there, but 71 to 16 at halftime. I have 67 points. I mean, wow, we are shooting at a very good rate as well very good percentages wow i mean the second quarter wasn't as good as the first but the first half by far our best first half yet drop a like on the video get a prediction in the comments how many points we scored by the end of this video green in the corner let's get it there's not much there's a half left but we gotta keep pushing we gotta keep the the, the the foot on the pedal okay we cannot let up we're trying to score as many points as possible now we already started off good i missed right right there by the way we're still shooting at a very high rate swags hits me there's three guys running at me i ended up just settling for the dot corner three it is what it is you know some possessions you just gotta do that you know could i just force it yeah but it is what it is i shoot a bad shot right here you see i'm starting to force shots like it's starting to get you know i probably shouldn't shoot that but I'm really just throwing stuff up because now I know, okay, I could really set it. So now I'm really starting to just really shoot anything. And wow, that was a crazy shot. Crazy contested, basically a heavily right there. And we green it. Another off ball play right there. Horrible help defense, horrible defense in general. 82 points at this point. They get a dunk right there. We just immediately inbound it to me. And I immediately just fade off my off sit hand. And wow, that is green. 95 to 20. We have 85 points. They get another layup right there, but 
even on half court offense, it doesn't matter. We're pushing it front fade three. This dude's on my side. You got to get a hand up. If you don't have a hand up in 2K24, guess what? I'm pulling it because you're not going to get a contest. And that's what I, I like that about this game. You got to put your hand up. We got another front fade three in between them like a sandwich. A, the, the, the brands around me on the defense. It don't matter. These dudes, three guys are chasing me. I have heat check. They were not letting up of me. My entire team is wide open, but it doesn't matter. Any other normal game, y'all know I'm passing like crazy. I'd be averaging high assists in the rec, all that. But this is the 2K League event. We're going for as many points as possible, and we're shooting that in. Oh, wow, I could have greened that. I definitely could have greened that. I missed probably a little too much dribbling, a little too much running around that position, but it's okay. We get it right back. That dude misses the, the uh, fast break three. He thought he was me or something. Shooting threes on the fast break. Hit swags back. There are still four people guarding me, and wow. They still could not stop me on that possession. Four people literally chasing me around like it's tag in, on, in third grade on the playground. They still can't guard me. And that is 100 points for the fifth time this video. Absolutely insanity. And it's not even the fourth quarter, y'all. I think this was the first and only game where we reached 100 points. And it's not even the fourth quarter. 8-1 with a clutch steal right there. Ends up hitting Swags. Seven seconds left. Oh my gosh, almost a turnover. Swags back to me. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Oh, I counted. <laughs> Holy shit. Come on. I was, bro, I was stunned. Like, that was crazy. Like, we barely got that shot off, and it counted 106 points going into the fourth, and we get a three within, like, five seconds of the fourth quarter. Probably the fastest we had ever gotten a three in a fourth quarter. We're setting off balls on, like, three different guys. 112 points, shooting 84% from three. We're throwing it on the half-court offense, immediately getting into a fadeaway corner three, and that's just a, that was a bad time. I got This was a possession where I missed and definitely lowered my three-point percentage a lot. Like, I was just chucking on this possession. You're going to see a lot of this right here. Already two Two, possess, two misses then i shoot from crazy deep is that greenable maybe but the green one was probably extremely small and i just missed the mark why well, i've been fade through here but at this point i just missed so many shots in a row that i'm in a shooting slump so i end up just taking the open midi open midi would take over that gives us to 114 points after like four misses on the possession right here this dude just plowed over after trying to take a charge i shoot a spin fade in his face <laughs> y'all just shooting bad shots at this point this was when i was just like chucking i'm on my jordan pool stuff on these last two possessions. And then I was like, okay, let me chill. Let me go back and take my smart shots. I don't need to chuck. I just need to, you know, be smart and get my points just like I've been doing all video long and all game long. Little fast break league out three right here. That gives us to 120 points with still two minutes and 40 seconds left. They shoot a heavily corner three leading to another wide open fast break for three. You already know what color that is. And wow, we are getting to the final minutes of this fifth game pull up three grain 126 points 74 percent from three i'm leaking out heavy on the break right now like i'm fiending for an open three because i know like we got the time is ticking and we need to get threes up fast and this is when we usually get up threes the fastest when it's a crazy blow 109 point game at the end of the game when people don't care as much so look at front fade three but they already know they lost by the way 142 to 30 another rebound throwing it down to me we're trying to get another three right here i just shoot it he pre-jumps so he's not gonna get a contest 135 points wow a uh, minute and 35 left we are 10 points away from beating our previous record we have a lot of threes to hit in it right here. So we hit one right there. Two more to go to be one point away from our last game. And we're up 148 to 30. That's insane to even say. Another fast break three. This dude's not in front of me. So that's going to be green. It was a yellow, but not good enough to contest. 141 points. Another missed three. There is a minute left. Throws it down to be another automatic green. And we are getting a ton of fast breaks right now because this other team just literally can't hit a shot they're also taking bad shots like that one right there down to me there's a guy that's about to rage quit standing still 147 points we have officially beat our all-time record and the record for the 55 public trout uh record 149 we are still putting up points 25 seconds to go another corner three bang 152 it is getting out of hand we are up by 130 points i am beating them I am outscoring the other team by 122. That is insane. 76% from three. I'm going to jump ball right here. We have 12 seconds to go in this game. Oh my gosh. We can get one more possession. I win the jump. I'm going on the fast break. They hit me. Oh my God. Oh, spin fade. There's no way I make that. 
I miss it. Swags back out to me. And we get the easy three at the buzzer. 155 points. Breaking the 2K League Fub Public 5v5 tryout record. Drop a like for these record-breaking games. But after the five scoring record 100 plus point games and the 13 games that we had to play in that six hour event, the event finally ended a six hour event, right? You see, I load out of the event. Uh, I had my 2K League jersey from the first attempt. This was our second attempt at this event. Congratulations and rewards. And look at, I got my unlimited layups and dunk boost. And I also got draft eligibility to the 2K League. So that was awesome. Uh, I went ahead, collected my rewards. I ended up getting second place though. I was first place for like 85% of the event, but the first place guy got a last game in before I could. So I ended up getting second, still top five, still top three. So we're gonna get those rewards. You see, now we have unlimited dunk, dunk boost and and unlimited rebounding boost so now we got two boosts we're looking good and just for anyone wondering these were our averages throughout that two game league event so pretty insane stuff it has been a long time since i have played or won an event on 2k24 today's date is december 1st now to be fair it's not all 2k's fault they did drop an event called poseidon's reef but it was literally on Thanksgiving day and it was giving out every unlimited boost except for Gatorade. So I would have definitely got a lot of the challenge done with, but one, I'm not playing 2k all weekend long and skipping Thanksgiving for a 2k event. Like, bro, I'm sorry if you did that. Like, unless like, you don't, you didn't have any family or friends to, you know, share Thanksgiving with that. I, I just don't know. You got your priorities messed up. Okay. And number two, it kind of would have just ruined the whole challenge in the first place, but that's probably going to be the only time that a Event ever releases because it was the first ever signature event they call it i think apparently they're gonna have some big events at the, at the end of every season but anyways it is december 1st 2023 right now and they actually just put boot camp on the event schedule so december 9th is going to be the first boot camp of 2k24 and if they do what they did last year, it's definitely going to be playmaking and passing boosts. So we're going to go ahead and create a 75 overall for that event right now. So I have it badged out by the time boot camp comes here. So let's go ahead and chop into the builder. So this is actually my boot camp build right here. Now, y'all didn't see the hours and hours that I put into making a boot camp build. Basically, when you make a 60 overall, your default stats change depending on how you make a build. So basically I just went into the builder and kept testing what attributes I had to put up to get better stats as a 60. That way, when I upgrade to a 75, my build is like way better than an average 75. And this is what I came down to. Trust me, my 75 overall boot camp point guard build is gonna be way better than everyone else because not only did I do the research to like really find the best possible 75 overall you can make which by the way you have to be a 75 overall or under to play in boot camp if y'all are wondering but also number two i'm gonna have this build obviously maxed set to 75 overall and i'm gonna have it completely badged out by the time we get to december 9th when boot camp actually occurs so i'm gonna be completely ready and my teammates are going to be ready as well. So we should have a very big advantage on like 90% of the competition. Anyways, I'll see y'all on December 9th when boot camp drops. It is the day of boot camp. Now, this was like my third attempt of trying to win boot camp on point guard, just like the previous events that we started with. Now, I see these are DMs with my, one of my teammates. I was saying that this was going to be impossible. Like I had almost given up on trying to win this event. Now, if you don't know how this event works before we get into an example game on what our strategy was to win this event, let's go ahead and explain this right quick. An event called Boot Camp was released where 2K would hold multiple four hour events in which you could only compete on builds that are 75 overall or lower. And the top five players over the course of those four hours would receive unlimited playmaking boosts, 25,000 VC and some other, you know, Gatorade 
raid boost, and an exclusive boot camp jersey, which is now the rarest jersey in the game, considering only five people per boot camp server has it. So now that y'all know what the rewards are gonna be, what the rules are, we're getting into one of the first games of this event. So this was like the third game of this event, but not only that, this was our third attempt of trying to win this event. So we had already knew, known what strategy we were gonna use going into the event because we had a couple, you know, failures at this. Now I was trying to win on point guard and winning on point guard is tough because unlike the 2K League event, not only is this not a six hour event, it's a four hour event. So we're back to the four hours. Uh, these games are 221. So we have to use the inviters because if we don't use the inviters, the competitors are gonna use them and we're just gonna be at a disadvantage. But a lot, I'm not competing on positional leaderboards. So we don't, we're not competing against only just point guards. We're competing against every position, right? Because we're back to the regular event and that's how that works, right? So point guards, we're not winning. Like a lot of point guards, it was hard to win on point guard, basically. Most of the people that were winning were centers, okay? So even my teammate would have an advantage over me for most games. Now, would he finish higher than me? We're not sure. But, you know, getting rebounds, blocks, assists is gonna give you more my points than just shooting, right? But for our strategy, if you couldn't already tell, basically me as a point guard, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to score all of our points. And if I don't score a certain point, I need to get the assist off of it. Now that I'm trying to get as many steals as possible, just like that right there, because not a lot of other point guards have their steel upgraded on their bootcamp build. And y'all saw my bootcamp build and how I made it earlier. I have a steal on it. So getting those extra my points from a steal could be clutch. But not only that, we're trying to end the game as fast as possible because we're competing against other 75 overalls as well. So if we leave them open, test their jump shot a little bit like that right there, they might miss because not everybody can play well on a 75 overall. And who knows? Some of them might not even have upgraded their their mid range or their three point shot because they're only at 75. You can only get to 75 overall. Or you're not allowed in the event. So yeah, we end this game super fast. You know, we're going to cherry pick when we can, if the other, especially if the other team's missing. Once again, we're using the invites again on like the 2K League event and we're trying to win this on guard. So yeah, after about like two or three games, I'm not exactly sure how many games, but not many games. There is three hours and 41 minutes left in the event. We're inviting everybody to the squad. And as you can see by the leaderboards, we have 41,000 my points and I'm first place. And now look at my overall. You see I'm a 75 overall. We're pointing to that for a reason. Yes, this builds a 75 overall because that's the max you can play on in bootcamp. But check this out. Okay, and you're gonna see this in the intro to every single game, and I'm sure some people will be commenting about it. It shows that I'm a 77 when you look at the matchup breakdowns, but clearly I'm a 75. So there were some people in games, like maybe one or two throughout the event, they're like, yo, this dude's cheating, he's on a 77 overall. But bro, I think I broke the game. Like my 75 overall bootcamp build is so good that it shows up as a 77. Y'all gotta subscribe to the channel for that. that that's kind of crazy. Like I'm really just the 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 build god okay that's literally what i am anyways we finished that game right quick we are now second place now it's altering with trey riggs in first and second you see solos up there we got a couple other good players up there and look at we get matched up with our first comp game we were playing the yo chill clan and xbox sweaty clan so it was time to lock in okay first possession i'm on ball i can play on ball defense like we had a lockdown but i got a 91 steal i got i'm 6'6 six, six. i can guard ball that's okay i got good defense but the pop is open and green now we were running with the inside center swaz could not shoot just so y'all know that he didn't have a three-pointer on his center build so it was interesting to play against a team with a popper you see our lockdown full court pressing this dude making him come off the ball and look at gg my boy gg the, he was our lockdown he was going crazy gets a steal i missed that pull up fade but look at swaz with a clutch offense rebound right back up to me i missed again another clutch offense rebound i'm like okay i gotta chill because my shooting percentage is a big thing with getting my points i already missed two so that's gonna suck that's gonna cost us so, right corner, right corner. Got that. I got bored. Okay, shot. Stop, boy. Shit. Come on. Lock in. And as you can see, we were communicating. We were super locked in, especially in these competitive games. And getting that three was pretty clutch in the possession with like one second left. So 5-3, GG gets another steal. Dude is locked in for us right now. And yes, he's not going to be competing for top five. It's just going to be me and Swags. But we're going to pay him. We're going to pay him. You know, we're going to cash out my boy if we win this event because he deserves it. He's go If, you know, our lockdowns are playing good and we win the event, they gonna get right. We're gonna get them right, okay? Because they deserve playing this good for you know four hours. You see, I miss. I get a steal right quick. Five to three. Little fast break, like three pointer, catch and shoot. Bang. Eight to three. So we got a good lead right now. 
We got to get like one or two more stops. And then we could probably start cherry picking on these guys. You see Swags and GG with the great defense. And GG with another steal. What is that? Three steals? The, the other team is flopping. I'm telling Swags to just take our free points. And you could tell the other team was like yelling at each other. Like they had a dude flopping. They were definitely arguing. Then we get another steal. That is four four five i think it's our fifth steal of the game i should have fade away corner three you already know what color that is and we're going off with our 75s like gg is looking like a 99 overall lockdown i got the sense he's stop not an eagle when he give up he'd be like that though could have just saved all the trouble oh god could have saved it this is for in front of people he came out this bitch and got embarrassed trying to be something you're not oh god Gave me four and we just took a whole there. team out, bro. Oh oh my you're God, so low. GG want his cash up. I ain't even gonna lie, gang. You go get. <laughs> so that was my boy GG and Swags talking. I mean, they were locked in, bro. They were talking their stuff to the other team. As you can see, I'm second place right now. And like I said earlier, we're gonna pay my boy GG. My, like my Swags was talking about the cash up right there. That's that's what he was talking about. We're gonna pay him when we win this event because he's locked in and he's not gonna get the top five rewards. And if two guys listen to this, y'all gotta change it so where the team wins the top five because this individual player stuff gotta go. I ain't gonna lie. But anyways, as you can see, we're still top two. Like we've been first or second place the entire event you see i get a steal at the end of this game right here i'm shooting 88 percent get a little quick three boom that game's done and i'm telling you we were hawking look at it. i'm back in first place we're almost at, almost at a hundred thousand my points and we're not even an hour into the event you know and look at i'm shooting 100 percent from three this game i got 17 points and i was looking like stephanie curry out here because the goal was to get swags to get an assist off of my points so i wouldn't try to score unless he assisted it so i was like dexin off ball i was really looking good like steph curry trying to get open off ball get this little shout out right here get the quick three join the invite and we back in it and look at now i'm back down the second like i was really switching between first and second you see the leaderboards we got some other good players up there as well you see solos up there i'm pretty he was on a center a lot of centers up there okay not a lot of guards and i'm up there for a guard like first second for a guard like trey was on a center as well like it, i'm telling you it was rare to be a guard and be this high on the leaderboards look at second place 101,000. i'm only a thousand behind first at this point and there's plenty of other competitive games left in this video wait until y'all see like we played some crazy teams in this video you see we're on the fast break they're trying to double me bro these dudes could not guard me it's crazy like people were throwing two or three at me some games and they could not hold my 75 overall look at back in first place with 111,000. guys we are 50 minutes into the event and we have finished 11 games do you realize how crazy that is that is genuinely insane okay we are finishing games in like three or four minutes maximum this team right here we're we 21 owed them this dude's on cold couldn't hit an open shot we 21 oh yo 21 owning a team on threes is absolutely insanity okay you see i dropped the third place right there but my teammates ahead of me in second so it's like it's not even a big deal and by the way as long as we get top five we all get the same rewards okay so we're going for top five but we can get first place that would be crazy because not only is first place crazy enough but to do it on guard i'm telling y'all bro to win this event on guard is actually a lot harder like you get less mob points usually than a center does unless you're just like playing good defense which is what i was doing a lot of the time even though i was cherry picking a lot or leaking on the break i was getting my steals okay so yeah i was leaking out y'all but Hey, I'm getting my defensive stats. You know what I'm saying? What are y'all talking about? Okay. Anyways, 20 points, 100% from three. Look at heat check, shooting over those. That's a yellow. It don't matter though. When I tell y'all I was in my bag in this event, like I couldn't, I felt like I couldn't miss, bro. Like, yeah, maybe there was like one or two games this event, which you're going to see later on the event where I, yeah, I had a bad game shooting wise, but bro, it's a big reason why I won this event was my high shooting percentage. It, it really is you look at the top right every game and you will see my three-point percentage more than likely not it it's in like the 70s or 80s which is absolutely insane on 2k24 as you can see we're back in second place we're about an, over an hour into the event so two hours and 50 minutes left and we get into our second comp game now this team they had ankles and faded talent who were both top 15 in the event at the time so this is a big game if they beat us we're gonna go down in the ranks if we beat them they're gonna go down in the ranks you know so this is a comp game we have to win this game okay so getting into it we are up 15 to 12. they have ball i have takeover both centers have takeover 
And this team, how they were playing was a little weird. Like, as you can see, they had their point guard just dexing off ball with the inside center just waiting to throw it. And they would not pass to their lockdown. Look at, we're getting steals off it. Like, I don't know what it was. They were playing very sus. Like, my center swags was saying that their guard had a zen. I don't know if that's true, okay? We're just going to say he didn't have one because I don't like to, you know, throw some claims out there. But, I mean, if he did have one, I would If he did have one, they would play like this, right? Like, they're acting like there's one guy on the court. Look, at he just shoots that with confidence. 21% in our face right there. We get the ball back 18 to 15. And he's a small guard, bro. So, I'm shooting over those. Get him off the court. But, yeah, that team played pretty weird. But... We're going to play that team later in the video, so make sure to look out for that. That's not the last time we would be seeing them. Second place, uh, once again, the very next game we get into a comp game. We're playing against D-Buckets. I played against him before. He's a lockdown. We're playing against Patch Made Ant, who is a sharpshooter that wins ruffles. When ruff He's like one of the best ruffles players, but bro, I don't know what was going on, but I started cherry picking this game like... It got bad. They could not hit a shot. You see, I'm 100% from three. They gave up. They're literally flopping. They completely gave up because they could not hit an open shot. So that ended up being a super fast game for us, getting us back into first place. I mean, we are hawking 171K just an hour and 17 in. We are at an all-time speed right now. Like, we're looking like Lightning McQueen type of thing. Like, well, that's how good of a race we are having right now. Okay, we're about to win a Piston Cup. I don't know what I'm yapping about, but we're doing good, okay? That's the bottom line, okay? So, up 20 to 9 right here if he, as he hits that open three. Yes, yeah, sometimes that happens when I leak out. You know, the team hits the shot, but when they don't hit the shot, it saves a lot of time. Right here, we just take the slip with Swags just to end the game right quick get back in and once again we are first place we're we're just trying to end the games as fast as possible yo and when we do get into these comp games yes they may take a little longer and look at here's a comp game right here we're playing against a top 10 player projo he's literally seventh on the leaderboards in both boot camp right now during this event and he's seventh in the world for levels so this dude is a sweat like this is a comp game he is a couple spots behind us in boot camp so we have to win this game. This is a must win game. We're up 15 to 12. We're trying to get a stop right here. They have an inside center, a sharpshooter, and a lockdown just like us. And they end up taking the two because we leave them wide open. So they take their two and they, they're they they're relying on their defense. They're confident in their defense. I got sharp takeover though. I'm shooting great this game and they haven't stopped me yet. So I don't know why they were so confident in a defensive stop. But you see, I'm trying to get still get Swags the assist. I call for the back door. It's not there. And he throws a bad pass. It's a steal. Their defense works, but Swags with a steal right back. Just a 60 steal ready. And I'm shooting right over those over two people. 18 of 14. What a crazy steal by Swags. We're saying, okay, give him the two. Give him the two. No threes. And I let up a three, and he hits it. One point game. A three wins it. We need to just get a bucket. It could be a two. It could be a three. It could be whatever. I pass it to Swags, trying to give him his assist. They're double teaming me. I tell him to slip. Hit the slip. Takes the dunk, and we're up three anything wins it for us we're saying no threes we cannot give up a three no matter what happens do not give up a three center goes to the basket and he just takes the two so they are relying on their defense once again it came through one time but they blew it can it come through again i hit swags i'm trying to get him the assist to help out the rep and look at they foul 20 to 19 they're looking like they're giving the slip for a second but they're not the slip is there, but the, the corner's dropping. I'm not hitting the corner, though. I'm going over here. I have low energy. Swags, he jumps, hits it back up to me. I'm shooting it. I missed it. He gets the offensive rebound, though. We got to score. We cannot blow this. Like, this is the most important game of the event. It's not even close. I'm getting double teamed. Come off the screen. He plays low, and he's low. I'm greening. Come on, man. You got to step up on that. Where, where's the help center? I mean, he couldn't give up the slip, but... It is what it is. We come out of there with a win. And once again, a third comp game in a row. We're playing another guy that used to be in the top 10 for levels. And we give up a three right there. He reaches out of the play. I, I was cherry picking because we were up five. It is what it is. 17 to 12. This guy used to be in the top 10. He's not anymore. So he knows what he's doing, bro. He's a stage player. He knows what he's doing. He's on center. 17 to 15. We give up another three. I got 17 points this game. I dot GG. It's not there. The lock's back on him. So I'm like, okay, take our time. We have to win this game. Another important game. Off ball three. Give me that green. Come on, man. We're getting mastered with comp game after comp game, but we just can't lose. 20 to 15. We're, pull, we're, we're playing good defense. We're on that. We're watching the off ball. The sharp just shoots it over him anyways. He misses it. Shoots elite. 
with the game on the line. I'm shooting in the corner. Heat check. Get him off the court. That is green. Make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel. We are still first place, even after not getting a crazy fast games. Like we played comp. What was that? Three games in a row and we're still first place. Things are looking promising. Things are looking very good, but there's a lot of time in the event to make a mistake, lose a game, drop down in the event. We can't do that. We got to stay in the top five. And if we can get first place, that would be genuinely insane. But this team right here, we're blowing them out. Look at them like holding ball. Like I swear that moly guy on the right was purposely holding ball. Like look at the shot clock, three seconds. Like we ran into another team this server too, where a guy in game chat was like actually being weird. I wish I was recording game chat because there was a dude in game chat that was like, oh, hold ball. Guys, make the game take long. Like bro, what in the weirdo? Like, I don't know, bro. Some people are just weird, bro. I, it, it is what it is, bro. They genuinely want to see you fail, bro. And th that's not even just in this event. That's just a life thing, bro. But that's a topic for another day, okay? We're getting too deep into that. Anyways, back to the boot camp server. 18 and three. I'm shooting a fadeaway three, and we're up 21 to three. Ends the game. Get them off the court. We're getting fast games in. Like, are you guys looking at the scores? It is extremely fast paced blowouts that aren't even close. You see, we get into another game. Some of these dudes are shooting like 0% from three, and they're not even inside centers. Like, they're just, they just can't hit a shot. Like, and that's, that is what it is. You know, some people are not good with their 75 overalls, but me, on the other hand, I'm looking like a 99 overall out here, just like my boy Gigi is on lockdown and just like Swags is on center. Now, Swags is a top 10 player as well, so he's getting like plus five stats to his boot camp build, which is probably helps a lot, to be honest. Anyways, getting into another game right here. You know, this was actually a little close to the most games. Like about most of these games, the teams aren't getting the double digits. This team got the double digits right here. Little pull up fast break three. Give me that grain and we're back into it. And we're still first place right now. We have dropped this second a couple different times, even at third one time. But so far, we have really kept our lead. We got to keep it, though. There's people behind us that are trying to catch up to us. So we have to keep going. We cannot let our foot off the gas or else we were going to end up paying for it. You see, I'm up by 1,000 on the second place right now. Like, it's a close race, y'all. Like, I can, if I even mess up a little bit, miss even one shot, I could go down a spot. And let alone lose a game, maybe drop out of the top five. Okay, so we grant a shot right there, 23 to 10. We're still in first place, and my teammate Swag is in second place now. So now we're really cooking. Like one in first and second, both on the same team. That's insane. Like that's genuinely impressive. That doesn't happen often in these events. You see right here, we're cherry picking 20 to 13. This dude was taking forever to shoot an open shot, misses it anyways. Hits me on the fast break, going for the fadeaway corner three. And that's green. Once again, y'all can peep the three-point percentage on the top right throughout the event. Because most of the time, we shoot insanely well. Getting into this game, though, we are still first place. And things get crazy. So we play this team right here. And they don't look too crazy. Like, they have good shooting percentages. But it's nothing crazy, right? Like, it's just another game. Okay, not... We've played, like, what, three or four comp games so far in this video. And we were destroying teams that are way better than this, right? So we get a stop on the first play. I'm going into the pick and roll action. I'm trying to score off a of Swag's assist, so I could probably score a lot easier if I didn't have to worry about that. But I'm trying to get him his assist, right? Because that's what we were doing this whole time when we play like teams that aren't insanely good. So even the teams that are good, we do that. So two seconds, one second, we don't really have anything. So I just throw up a random layup. Obviously, that's not going in. They're on the fast break, shoots a pull up three, misses, and it goes out of bounds. So a little slow start. The game's taking a little long. No one's even scored yet getting a little worried off ball three i shoot a yellow and i green it for my first shot which is actually a that was a tough shot we green it we give up a layup on the iso right there so it's three to two things are looking a little weird though the game's not going as fast we're not getting fast break threes we're struggling to score and even when we do score it's not looking pretty it's a yellow as you see we miss right there that's an early and then we give up another fast break layup or dunk so now we're down we're actually losing which Honestly, this might have been the first time we are losing in the video, to be honest. We get an off ball through here, and I miss open again. They gave him a yellow on that, though. I'm not going to lie. There's no way that was a yellow. Like, I looked wide open. So, I miss. I'm one for three now. But then we give up an open three, and now we're down seven to three. So, at this point, I'm like, okay, we got to chill. We got to get a three. It, who, I'm still going for the assist, but I'm not going to lie. We shouldn't have even been going for that at this point. At this point, we just need to score the ball. So, I'm cut off the screen, hit swags off that, 
he's not there like they're playing great defense i get all open off ball for just a second and i miss again like i went from shooting 70 80 percent every game from three to now i can't hit a wide open shot my life depended on it shooting 25 percent and it's not like this team is playing good defense like sometimes they are but bro i'm mi i've missed wide open threes right here we hit gg for the co corner three he hits it and that was his first shot of the event because we were really trying to make sure me and swags were involved every offensive play but at this point bro we're down six we gotta hit gg you know what i'm saying so we're playing defense right here four seconds on the clock and we still give up a floater over all three of us putting us down five and now i'm fading in the corner from three and wow Whoa! i mean we airballed now i remember that shot during the event i swear i was delayed like trust me i played too much hours of 2k to know when i laid a shot i did not lay that shot i did it i know that sounds like an excuse but i promise you i did it anyways we get open we green the shot 14 to 9 we're back on defense this is a must stop right here i'm not shooting very good and he hits that midi i don't know if he had his midi upgrade i mean he had to if he's shooting stuff like that which is kind of rare for a boot camp build to have a midi upgraded with how expensive it is anyways 16 and 9 i'm getting all open off the jamal murray and i'm hitting some crazy shots right now like 16 to 12 we need a stop right here and gg gets us on our stop and i'm wide open on the fast break three and i miss it and this is what i knew okay we lost like and in the game's on me like it's not even like we lost to a team that's just better than us like i beat myself this game i'm missing wide open threes and it's affecting us a lot and not only that it's making the game take way longer and we're also getting no points for it so i miss again and we end up losing on this possession and wow that that's bad okay so we did lose the game and we hop in right into another game because it's like okay we gotta make up for that loss and we gotta start ending games extremely fast because if we don't we might be in trouble and if we lose again we're not gonna win this event okay so we end that game super fast literally a huge blowout 23 to 2 and we get into another game and i'm first place still i don't know how i'm first after losing a game but that's insane so we're like okay we're chilling our lead that we had though up on sixth place the, the person that's right out of the top five and on second third is not nearly as much as it was like i think we lost like a 7k lead like we had like a 35k lead on six now we only have like a 23k so it just wasn't as big as a lead and look at i'm all i'm getting a little close to dropping out of first place like if trey ends a game right here he's in first so i'm still in first an hour and 42 left in the event and we're playing another team that knows what they're doing but guess what we were like no we're not losing another game time to blow these dudes out no more playing around and after shooting bad that one game bro i was locked i was like i'm not having one of those games again you see i'm shooting 83 percent from three this game i got sharp take these dudes are missing open I i'm locked i'm literally tapped in i should join immediately after that game we get into another one i'm still in first place i'm the first person to be above 300 000 my points we get into another game these guys knew what they were doing too but guess what it don't matter we're too locked we not about to lose look at me shooting back fade corner threes that's green i was really in my bag like, i know i shot bad that one game but when i tell y'all i was shooting so good in this event I was looking like prime Steph Curry, bro. I'm, I'm not even trolling, bro. The percentages I was shooting on a 75. Look at this team right here. They're literally doubling me off ball. This dude's flopping because they're giving up. It, it, it's it's good, bad for them. Okay. Now I miss open, which is rare. So sometimes, I mean, y'all are seeing, I do miss open with sharp take, but look at the top right. I'm still shooting 75% from three. We're just waiting for these dudes to take a wide open shot. He misses anyways. Throw it down to me. I'm on the other side. So they're confused where I'm at. We get that game over with. Okay so back into the event center and i drop down to second place now we just need to get top five so dropping down the second isn't the biggest of deals but it is a sign that like we are not keeping up to speed okay so you, you don't like to see that anyways we're into another game hit a three on the fast break this team could not hit a shot just like a lot of teams we're shooting 88 percent for three gg with a clutch deal and steals like that from gg are going to make our job a lot easier like even just saving 15 20 seconds is huge in this event okay so we're down like four or five k from first we're we basically just got to try to lap them okay we got to end the game before they can finish a game and then get into another game before they get out of that game if that makes sense because once again this thing is really like a race who can finish more games at a certain capacity of my points throughout the four hours right like if, if me and another guard are getting 10k a game 
it's a really a race at that point who can lap the other person who can end games faster over the course of the hours of this event okay so that's really what it was looking like with a lot of these teams at the top like we're all gonna get like 10 11 12k my points a game it's just who's gonna end the games faster who's gonna lap people and who's gonna get the most games over the course of the four hours if that makes sense so that's really what it's coming down to at this point so 18 to 2 they shoot an early on the fast break once again i'm shooting like 89 percent from three that game i'm looking crazy okay Y'all saw the build in the beginning of the video. If you didn't, go ahead and check it out if you're interested. An hour and 13 left in the event. An hour and 13 left. We are one of, we are three fourths basically done with this event. And we are been top five the entire time. There's no way we fall out, right? If anything, we should be going for first place at this point. You see, I'm shooting 88% from three again. And I'm just shooting over that. He reaches, doesn't get a contest. And that's green. You reach, I teach. That's really how it is in 2K24. Because if you reach when someone's shooting the ball, you don't get a contest. So, you know, I, I, I was shooting over those sometimes when people reach it. Anyways, getting into another game, bro. You see my three-point percentage? It's like 77, 78 on this bootcamp build. That is insane. That is crazy. By the way, if y'all want the jump shot, I'm using Tracy McGrady base. It's from my last video. Go check it out. It's OP. I might have to make another 6-8 just to get a mid-range high enough for T-Mac base because... Wow, it is crazy. Anyways, we get into another comp game right here. Our sixth comp game of the video. I mean, we're running into some good teams, and they were running a 6-2 point guard. Look at I'm shooting almost 78% over three. That is crazy. Uh, they had a lockdown. They had a center as well. They were basically running our lineup, but they had a 6-2 center. So right off the gate, I'm going around the screen looking to get something, and he's 6-2. So I'm confident running around these screens. I hit swags right here on the... Wow. I mean, it, they just made me throw it out of bounds. It is what it is. We got to deal with it. Anyways, back on defense. It's zero to zero. Not the start we were looking for. This dude gets slightly open, but shoots a very late... Don't know what was going on with that. I shoot the pull-up three. I missed time it. It is, it is what it is, because we're going to get it right back. You see, we're playing good defense. He almost gets in the lane. They hit their popper, and that's when we realized they had a shooting center. So we're down three to zero. They're running a slightly different lineup. They got a shorter guard. They got a center that can shoot. Look at me shoot over the center. 11% on the first shot. Okay. I'm locked in. Three to three. I'm guarding that corner. He thought that was open. Now I'm there. I'm there. I'm also going to be in the lane with my 91 steal. And this dude forced that. I don't know what he was doing. Swags gets the rebound. That is a huge stop. Fast break three. I hit that. And now we have our first lead of the game. Six to three. And look at Gigi with the inbound steal. And just like that, I'm over for three. That's green. Now we up six. We were just down three a second ago. And now in a blink of an eye, we are up nine to three with those defensive stops. Like I said, those inbound steals from Gigi, you're going to go a long way. The popper shoots another three. That's a yellow though. He's kind of forcing at this point. We get the ball back. I'm going to go ahead, shoot the fadeaway corner three with heat check. And that is green again. Yo, we are, it's looking like a blowout. 12 to three. And look at Swaz getting a lane steal. What is that? Like our third, maybe fourth steal of the game. I'm shooting a front fade. That was kind of a bad shot. But Swaz, look at him hustling for the rebound. Doesn't get it, unfortunately. But it's tipped. And I get it right back. I hit Swag so he can get the assist. And that is green. 15 to three. I'm shooting 71% from three this game. They hit the popper. He can't even hit a wide open shot at this point. I'm cherry picking against this team. Like, that's how got bad it got. Just like against Patchmade and earlier in the video, if you guys saw that, it got that bad against this team. Look at, we're leaving them wide open. And he can't shoot. Get us out of here. 21 to three is crazy. I'm not going to lie. And just like that, we're still top two. Y'all make sure to hit that subscribe button, by the way, for if you want me to try to win every single event this year, because honestly, we could collect the Infinity Stones at this point with how many unlimited boosts we are collecting. Anyways, he misses a shot right there. He's lading like we're cherry picking at this point. You see, once again, 75% from three. I'm never cutting out my percentages. You know, maybe one game or two, I'll shoot like 56 or something, but 75, 80 for the most part. You see, look at, they're like doubling me. I'm hitting swags on the roll. He just takes the dunk to get us out of that game. And we have less than an hour left, y'all. And I just, wait, is that, wait, yo, 55 minutes left? Oh, it's it's going to the countdown. It, it's counting down. We are almost done. And look at who we run into. The team we played earlier in the event, they were top 15. And now they're top 10. They're a point guard faded talent and their center are both in the top 10. Khabib. That's huge. That's fucking huge, Gigi. <laughs> I'm telling you, nigga, I guess. And as you can see, we're locked in. 
I mean, we're communicating, we're hype. We're not trying to lose to these guys. And look at Faded Talent. They were playing just like they were earlier in the event. They're playing weird. They're just throwing off balls to him, not even passing to their lockdown if he's open. And that's kind of how we were playing a little bit, though. So I can't blame him. Look at, I get this bad animation where I miss Swag's return, gets the rebound back at me. I was shooting that three, and that's green, giving us a three point lead. We have to win this game. If we lose this game, we go down in the ranks, and they might get into the top five and maybe even replace us. These guys are both in the top 12 for boot camp. So we need to win this. This is a huge comp game and could allow other people to sneak into the top five as GG gets a steal. Yo, we are locked in one three pointer away. I could hit GG right here, but we need to get our my points and we're going to risk it wide up and through a sharp takeover. And I missed it. No, I missed, but this dude shoots oversized. Yo, what is he shooting? A heavily contested with the game on the line. What is he doing? 18 15 i have takeover gg's wide open and swags is telling me to hit him so i'm like you know what screw it let's just get out of this game i'm gonna hit gg he misses and i'm like okay swags hit me hit me let me get the assist i hit gg again two for a dollar get us out of here and we are two and oh against that team now that is crazy y'all make sure to subscribe to the channels for us winning these calm games right here 50 minutes to go and look at who we're playing we're playing them again i mean how many times are we gonna play this guy now they're now they're at like the edge of top 10 a little out of top 10 after that loss so we beat them again and that's green from half court yo we are going crazy we were just down 11 to 9 now we're up 12 to 11 i have four threes this game if we beat them again we're going to if we're going to lose them their event he shoots a heavily contested again great defense we are 2-0 and against this team and now it's looking like we're going to be 3-0 you know, with the green right there are we single-handedly putting this team out of their misery and eliminating from them them from the event uh, we basically are if they lose this game 15 to 11 they're trying to get faded talent open on the off ball and we are just all over it if they want to go for a back door they probably have it he shoots it open it was a you know a ghost contest but it wasn't a bad shot for how much we were guarding him 15 to 11 jamal murray step back over both of them and that's green i'm looking unstoppable 18 to 11 he's trying to get open off ball again swags with the turtle or the steal causing the turnover and wow i mean he has an 86 pass i can see on the center build that's just unlucky look how open their lockdown is they just don't care even down seven they're still just forcing it to the guard even on a back door for a layup and at that point they're not even trying to win they're just trying to get some extra my points because they know they're not going to win this game which I mean, I can understand that. I would probably be doing the same thing. Wide open on the off ball. That's green. And now we are 3-0 and against that team in this video. That is insane. We dropped the second place, though, because that game took a little long. And I'm 9,000 behind first. This is the, the, the lowest I've been on the leaderboards all event. 9K below first. That's basically an entire game. So we got to get do some catching up. That's for sure. We got some catching up to do if we want to get first place. And as you can see, we're still down. We got to lock in 40 minutes to go into the event. We have played eight competitive games. We're probably not going to play another one because I want to know what's crazy about that is we beat so many of the good teams in this event that we eliminated a lot of them. We made a lot of them stop playing because even one or two losses could lose you the entire event. I mean, we gave one team three losses. We we gave a loss to a Projo, who is seventh place, who hasn't been in the top 10 since. We gave a loss to a couple other teams that could easily be in the top 10 that aren't even sniff in the top 10 anymore. So we were eliminating a lot of the good teams, which was helping us out because by the end of the event, there was only so much teams that were even still playing that had a genuine chance at getting the top five. So those games that I showed y'all throughout the video, had even more meaning than we had thought at the time so anyways we're still hawking we're trying to get the first place of course keep our top five look at i'm back in first with 30 minutes to go we caught up we're back in first we're playing more bums 18 to 8 they finally make an open three right there 18 to 11 you see i'm shooting 88 percent from three i'm like swags just give me the ball give it back to you get the assist i'm trying to get open off ball like i'm steph curry going around shooting a, oh, oh i missed who was that damn he got a yellow on that shooting the corner fadeaway three and that's green get us out of here get us the win less than 30 minutes to go 26 minutes i'm still first place i'm 2000 my points and have ahead of second and then you see look at ankles is eighth place and faded talent is ninth we beat them three times 
and they are eighth and ninth place. That is crazy, y'all. I mean, let me know in the comments. You, y'all, got to agree with me. I think we've actually lost them in the event, beating them three times. They're eighth and ninth. Imagine it, bro. If we didn't beat them those three times, bro, they would definitely be top five. They would a hundred percent be top five. Anyways. Look, well, yeah, I'm shooting 78% from three. Like, I'm going crazy. We're cherry picking again. 18 to 12. He misses right there. Shooting the open three. Get us out of that game. Once again, shooting 88% from three. I'm missing like maybe one three a game, making seven. That's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. We we really look at like prime Steph Curry. Like I said, I tried to tell y'all in the video. You might have not been listening, but I mean, I clearly am shooting like it. Sharp take, heat check. I catch the ball and I'm just shooting it. I'm just shooting it. That's a yellow. It don't matter, man. There's just the green machine going, the sharp take going, the heat check going. Why not let it fly? You know? Anyways, we're getting to the end of the event. The, uh, lots of, you know, it, it would be hard for us not to get top five. But at this point, we're going for first place. I might be the only guard in the top five. I think maybe fifth was. I know Swags is on a center. Trey's on a center. Um, I don't know about official tag. I know Solo is on a center. So I know most of the people in the top five are centers. So as a guard, I got to put on for the rest of my guards out there. I got to get first place right here. We're leaking out again. 18 to eight sharp take. Actually, we had mama mentality that game because we were going so crazy and we ended again. So once again, getting into another game that this was the last game. There was there was like seven minutes left in the game or in the event. And this game took so long. Look at 20 to 19. This game took seven minutes, probably our longest game of the event. And I green it and the event's over. I joined the event center and look at our first place with 12 seconds left. 10, nine, eight, first place still. I'm refreshing, trying to see. We have 520,000 my points. Is that going to be enough? One second, there goes the buzzard and we are first place. We're screenshotting it. We leave the event and we did it not only did we get top five rewards, but we became the number 175 overall player on 2K24. Congratulations. Thank you for playing bootcamp. We got our rewards, 25,000 VC, some Gatorade boost, unlimited playmaking boost. We got the, uh, the banner. We got the jacket that we already had, and then we get the bootcamp jersey, the rarest jersey in the game. And wow. Like I said, we're basically collecting the Infinity Stones. Look at our boosts. We got lamps and dunks from 2K League in the Rec No event. We got the cages from rebounding boosts. And now we got boot camp with the playmaking boost. So I guess it's time to wait until that next event drops. But right now, we have three Infinity Stones, aka three unlimited boosts unlocked. So I'm looking forward to get the next one. Yo, maybe I'm going to finish this challenge sooner than I thought because literally just yesterday we had one boot camp and now today we already have another event on the event schedule and that is 90s, which we have seen in 2K before. 2K made a couple posts about it and basically this event is going to be dropping December 16th and the only rule really is is that you have to be on a 90 overall below and the good thing is I do have some builds on 90 overall and below already so I do not need to make a new build for this event now if 2k stays consistent here with what boost they give out for what event the last time they came out with 90s it gave out steals boost which we don't have so if it gives out steel boost this year again then that's going to be great we're going to need to win this event the best thing about the 90s event is if we win in this event that means we are over the halfway point of completing this challenge so i'll be back december 16th to play this 90s event 90s is here and as you can see i'm actually loading up into this event on a center now once again this is another event where no this is not my first attempt at trying to win i did try to win on guard multiple times but literally the whole leaderboards were just flooded with centers. So I was left with no choice. I had to load up on my seven foot three inside center and go for rebounds, blocks, assists. So this is what the boards are looking like four hours left. I'm playing with two top 10 teammates as well. And this is what our first opponents are looking like. The strategy for this event, right? I'm going to show a little gameplay for this first game. You know, get, well, first of all, you know, protect the paint, right? So we get blocks. That's going to give us extra my points. You know, good shot contest is going to give us some extra my points. But then not only that, 
on offense, I was going to try to get every assist. So if someone was going to score, it was going to get assisted by me. Okay. And then not only that, get as all the rebounds. So if there's an offensive rebound to be get, if there's a defensive rebound to be gotten, I need to get it. And then maybe the occasional lane steal when there's like a random corner to corner pass, right? So right here, you see, I have all the assists, all the rebounds already. We end up doing that for the full game. And after the first game, I'm first place. And honestly, by a mile, I have 18K. The closest dude to me is 9K. That's after one game. That's after one six minute game. Now, once again, we're doing the invite thing. So we're seven minutes in. There's still a lot of mistakes to be gotten. And you see about 30 minutes later, you know, we started to go down a little bit on the boards. And we get into this game right here, 20 to 19. Obviously, we need the games to end as fast as possible. We're looking for fast breaks. And that's just not what's happening against this team right here. Even though this team we're playing is not very good. And it's because Swags just wasn't shooting very good on point guard. He hits this three right there, though, which is a tough shot. And he ended up just not wanting to play anymore. So I picked up a different teammate. So I picked up Trey for point guard. And now you can see I dropped all the way to the eighth after that great start because we just weren't ending games fast. But with two hours and 46 minutes left, now I'm in fifth place. So I'm still fighting, right? But then after some bad games, literally two bad games in a row, now I'm down to 10th. So we were we were at first, down the eighth, back up the top five, then two bad games. Now we're now we're in the barely top ten. And you have to be top five to get these rewards. Uh so yeah, we uh we ended up playing this team right here. Not a very good team, right? Y'all saw their their cards, you know, their bronze tier, you know, casual tier. Uh, so we get into the game, we immediately get a stop leave, by leaving them wide open, get a three up, okay? Uh, back up on defense, we're just leaving people open, okay? And testing them, so right there, we were wrong, we tested it wrong, that dude hits a shot, back on offense, y'all are, like I said, I'm trying to get an assist every single play, so go ahead, we're setting off ball screens to get some people open on catch and shoots, dexing, all that stuff. Uh, this dude pump fakes wide open, gets it again, ends up making that shot. That dude was butter, wide open at least. You know, a lot of these players aren't, so that's just how it goes. We're going to test you, okay? Now, this event, like I said earlier, probably is that it's 90 overall and below. So, yeah, these dudes aren't completely maxed out, but 90 overall is pretty good. But right there, I get an offensive three because I was telling my teammates just to shoot it because I do have a 99 offensive rebound. They didn't listen, though. So, I end up getting an offensive three, so that's a bad communication. Now, we're down 9-6 to six against this team that... Honestly, we are much better than that just shows goes to show what kind of slump win right, right now. Like we just had two bad games in a row. Now we're playing bums and we're still not ending the game fast. We end up missing that layup right there. Trey luckily gets the O board. I kick it out to Will. He gets that three to go. So now it's a tie game. And this same stuff kind of just happened throughout the game where we would try to play defense after leaving them open them making it Lee, i get a stop though when we need it like they're not gonna go up on me like i have a 92 block i think on this build you're not getting anything off but then we throw the stop away by missing that seven percent should he have taken that honestly i'm not mad at the shot but you gotta hit it right they get a fast break so now we're down again 11 to 9 i, I just stopped with the off balls i'm like you know what let me just get in this dude's way you dex around it ends up working we take the lead back but then that continued to happen and now we're down in a position where we're down 19 18 must three i have playmaking takeover because i do have model mentality and if we don't hit a three possess this possession we lose like and it's not like my stats are insane too like six assists five rounds that's okay but like i had way better stat games throughout this this event that gave me a lot more of my points but we do get open and trey missed it he misses that thank god i got the offensive rebound three seconds on the shot clock we end up having to take a midi and now if they make a three right here we lose to this team which is probably going to make the event over after three bad games in a row it, probably not even top 15 if we lose this game okay 2019 they got two sharp takeovers from just us leaving them open in the beginning and then making it four seconds three seconds we get a stop anything is gonna win it here i'm trying to get the assist Trey shoots a fadeaway three, misses. I get the rebound, hit him back, fadeaway midi. That's ball game. And thank God we won that game. But we're like 12th place now with two hours and 22 minutes left. There's still a lot of time left though. Okay, so I'm going to give you all some updates on the leaderboards as we get through these hours. Two hours left. We're back to top eight. This is my reaction to seeing the leaderboards next. Hey, y'all ball squad, bro. I'm 13K behind, bro. Come on. Only an hour and a half left, bro. Good though. That's still a lot of time, bro. Anything can shake. So I was worried, you know, only an hour and a half left, but look at the teams we're playing. Like the silver tiers, bronze tiers, that dude was shooting 100%. I'm not sure how that must be a new build. 
but we kept climbing the boards and here's my reaction again who lost the game or something bro he was just at 351 and now he's at 359 i'm right behind him bro so as we were climbing the leaderboards we ended up getting in another 19 to 20 game not only that this game is just super important because there's a couple of people in front of me that are starting to mess up they're starting to lose so we need to take advantage of those mistakes and get a win right here so i bat that ball down it's still their ball 2019 if they get a three right here we lose this game so i'm walling up playing great defense i go ahead and get that defensive rebound chuck it down court with play take that should be green and it is green and we get out of there and now i'm sixth place i'm literally one spot off top five and there's 30 minutes left like it's go time we have to lock in right now and then a couple games later we go into the leaderboards and i'm fifth literally the next game i'm fifth place 22 minutes left it's go time okay we get into another game i just chuck it down we're even taking layups at this point just we gotta win right so we get into our next game once again not playing anyone special this game ends up going 19 to 14 we're just trying to get a stop he shoots a front fade midi doesn't make it chucks it down to me i chuck it over to my teammate he shoots the shot he greens it we're out of that game into the next leaderboard checkup and now we're down to six so we're going back and forth to the fifth and sixth but this is gonna be our last game with three minutes left this is our opponent i mean unless we end this game in like 60 seconds we're probably not getting in another game so we have to make this one count so i hit trey he hits a three we're back on defense give up a two i'm hitting trey and we got we got like we're looking at the timer too we're looking at the time because as soon as it hits that hour this event is over you know there's gonna be a timer that pops up top left eventually during this game showing that there's 30 seconds left in the event so we have to lock in and those misses right there are not helping okay then i get the rebound and it throws me out of bounds so five to four right we have to take advantage of every single possession this dude misses wide open mid-range that is huge we chuck it down end up somehow not getting a good shot off that i should have made a better read i just predetermined that pass and now we can't get open this is turning into a long possession that should have been a, a pass green out of there type of possession five seconds left on the shot clock i set a screen we have to settle for a mid-range and that brings it to seven to four now you know steals are gonna help right because steals are fast possessions threes are gonna help we need threes look at right there i get into a lane get a steal that's huge i hit trey open for three he hits a three that's a big change right there that's gonna save a lot of time will shoots a fadeaway three doesn't end up making it that would have been huge 10 seconds left trey misses another one thank god i am getting these rebounds but we do need to chuck up shots like they are doing so now it's 12 to 6 after that mid-range look at there's 30 seconds left on the timer we need nine more points we hit a three 25 seconds until this event is over and this game doesn't count i get the rebound i chuck it down again he hits it over i don't even need the assist at this point we need to end this game he hits another three 10 seconds left five four three two one he hits the shot in time we end the game in time now it's time to go to my live reaction to see what ends up happening. Oh. Seconds, 25 seconds again, squad. You're behind it by 100, bro. For a thousand. Is this thing just gonna load forever? Like, what I'm, the I'm just. Like, yeah, you're behind it by 1.6. This shit ended. It ended. He's in. A, he's in a game. And got a 22 in the last. That was 44k versus fucking 25k. I mean, even a one. Lost wow. Fucking thousand, bro. Thousand, bro. Dude, we're we're the sixth place curse, bro. It's happened to me. It's happened to Swags. It's happened to you. It's happened to Ethan. So that was definitely a sad moment. When you get sixth place, especially like that, that is just so unfortunate because that all those four hours just went to waste and literally like three more rebounds and I win that event. Like it's literally less than a thousand my points, right? So I was just sad, you know, that was like our third or fourth attempt. And I was like, oh my God, bro. Like, do I really have to attempt this again? Do I give up on this event? But then I saw a tweet from one of my subscribers on Twitter and he was talking about how he got his rewards. And I was like confused because when I saw him on the leaderboards in one of the other servers, he was sixth place, just like me, but just in another server. So I was like, how, how did you get that? And he was like, boosters got bans. One through four were boosting in my server. I was eighth, finished fourth. 
which server did you play? Because you might have gotten them if there were boosters in front of you. Did you check? And I was like, yo, like what the heck? I didn't even real I didn't even like think of that. Because like I told you on the intro, yes, we do compete against boosters, but 2K usually doesn't do anything about it. So like I'm I just used to just dealing with it. You know, if I you lose the boosters, you just deal with it. So I was already online. Like I was literally about to play three stages with my friends. So I loaded up into my appearance to check my clothing, and this is my reaction. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, 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 I got it. Dude, dude, dude. Dude, dude, dude. I, I'm having a squad. So that was crazy. I mean, you guys can see I have the 90s jersey. I have the unlimited steals boost. I mean, this is kind of a blessing, but I mean, I did deserve it if people were boosting in front of me. So, so now we have layups, steals, rebounding, ball handling. All that's left is jump shot blocks and Gatorade. We are getting super close to finishing this challenge. It is currently January 12th at the time of this recording. And yeah, it's been like another month. 2K hasn't had an event in a minute, but we checked the event schedule. And one of my favorite events of all time, an event that only was introduced in 2K22 and only happened in 2K22 is Sour Patch Kids. And it's making a return on January 20th. Now, honestly, I have no clue what boost this is going to give out. Now, the good thing is we already know what this event is about. It's basically like a three point line that can disappear if you make a three pointer. I'll explain more later when we get to the actual date of the event, but we're not going to be on. We're not going to need to make a new build for this like we did for cages and like we did for boot camp. So I'm just going to be playing on my regular point guard build like I did in the 2K League 5v5 event. Anyways, I guess we're just going to have to wait until January 20th to see what prize this one's giving out. Sour Patch is officially here. The event has started. This is the first attempt at trying to win the event. The first time the event is out, period. So let's go ahead and show you guys how it works this year. Every time I hit a three-pointer, my opponent's three-point line huh? disappears. But not only that, after every game, I will receive my points. And if I finish top five with the most my points, after the four hours is up, I will receive unlimited boosts, a couple other prizes, and the rarest vehicle in the game. Now we're about to load up into the two with my squad. I'm playing with Swags at center and GG at lockdown. So that was unfortunate. I mean, it's playmaking boost. We already have playmaking boost. So I'm not going to show this entire event, but I am going to show you guys updates on the leaderboards through out the four hours and then we're going to show a couple games against zeners because y'all i mean hey i'm just going to show this little highlight clip because just to show y'all what this event was like playing against cheaters 67 on the first shot if he's making that type of shit on you yo yeah. this shit got it bro get up on that get up on that he's he's not making it. bro is he zenny now, if y'all do want to see those full Zen games, I will link all the specific event videos in the description. But after the first game, it was a slow start, but we were going crazy. I mean, just, just look at the gameplay of this game right here. Like we're playing three GOAT tiers and watch how fast I just absolutely destroy them on my guard. Like, look at this. Off ball decks, hit a three, right? So we're up three to two now. Uh, we get a stop right here. I'm shooting a pull up front fade three pointer. I mean, I'm shooting that confident out the gate in this event. Six to two, wide open catch and shoot. That's too easy. Now it's nine to two. Keep in mind, their three pointer is disappearing every time I hit a three. So they're at a massive disadvantage of me hitting all these threes. Look at 12 to three now. Y'all already know what color that is. Now their three point line is gone. Like this event was made for me, bro. Look at pull up three again on the fast break, 15 to two. I'm shooting 71% from three in this game. Look at this back fade three. They're flopping, giving up. I missed it though, but they've given up at this point. It's 15 to two. I'm hitting a three every play. Now it's 18 to two. And I get us out of that game in probably less than two minutes. I mean, that that was literally crazy. And obviously we eventually get top five on the leaderboards without two hours left. I'm still shooting fadeaway threes of the Sour Patch logo. Let's take a look at the leaderboards again. I'm third place now with about an hour left. Then we get into another game against some sweats, but it just doesn't matter, bro. I got heat check. I'm locked in. I'm shooting over those. That's green. And with about five seconds left in the event, we ended up actually coming in top five. You see, I load out of the event. It's all crowded around here. I check the event leaderboards because sometimes 
after the event ends it doesn't show the most recent event but this time it shows it and we got fourth place so we ended up winning this event it's kind of sad that it was giving out playmaking boost again but so we're still at the same point as we were before with the boost so that's why i didn't show like a lot of stuff from this one because we didn't get anything new but i did get my sour pass jersey i did get my sour pass shorts but not only that we got the rarest vehicle in maybe in, in, in the entire game for sure because you had to have gotten top five in sour patch to get this vehicle which is the sour patch doom buggy now doom buggies were level 40 rewards but not the sour patch skin one so this is the sour patch skin one but anyways we are still need those jump shot boosts we still need the gatorade boosts we still need the block boosts and hey we're gonna get those okay we just gotta be patient i guess another month has gone by and we are at the end of this season which means there's another signature event and 2k just announced today february 9th 2024 that the event this season is going to be called rumble on the k and this event is looking like the best event of all time i mean if you get on the leaderboards in this event and finish on the leaderboards you're gonna get unlimited gatorade so that's three slot slots all the unlimited gatorade slots and a 1.5 times XP shirt permanently? That, that That's insane. Like these rewards look crazy. And not only uh is the schedule look pretty crazy too, like there's gonna be a lot of opportunities to win this starting on February 16th, so a week from today. But there's also a rule where if you go up by eight points in the game, so it's not gonna be matchmaking, I guess, uh, according to the trailer, but if you go up eight points in this 3v3 match or any 3v3 match, the game automatically ends. So I don't know what the meta is really going to be, whether it's going to be just end the game as quick as possible or go for a bunch of stats. But either way, this event sounds crazy. People are definitely going to be hawking for this because there's never been an unlimited Gatorade event until now. So this is definitely going to be a lot of people competing for this event. But hey, I guess I'll see y'all February 16th when the event drops and we're going to see if we can win this. Now we are loading up Rumble on the K for the first time and for the first time this video in the signature event center. Now, even though I did explain a couple of the rules earlier before the event dropped, let's go ahead and completely explain rewards and what this event looks like and how it's going to work. The first ever Gatorade event has finally been released. Rumble on the K was announced and it was said to be a six hour event held inside the signature event center. This particular event would be matchmaking though, but instead will take you to a private castle island with got next spot. There is also an eight point mercy rule. And for the first time ever, the top six players with the most my points at the end of the six hour event in each server would win unlimited gatorade and a 1.5 times xp permanent shirt with a couple other items and this is the first time anyone had ever loaded into this event and spoiler alert, it just didn't work like there was just error codes like no one even got to compete um eventually later down the line i did compete on this uh event on guard and lockdown and one for my teammates but for the first technical attempt that i'm going to show you guys we played on center and it was our first attempt because since this one was like error cody we did figure out what the method was going to be because people did play a couple games but the event never actually finished so anyways uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the first attempt where i was on center so after hours and hours and hours of the first ever rumble in the cave not working i decided to load up my center for my first attempt of trying to get into the top six you see i load into the park this is my first time in the park the event had just started it looks pretty cool to be honest let me know y'all thoughts on this rumble on the cape park i think it looks fire it's got that castle kind of vibe it's on an island it's got the palm trees it's a cool park okay but as you can see i got on the court with my team and this is our first game on the rumble of the cave event you see i'm on my center build I'll pop up in the stats on the screen again. If you guys didn't see it earlier in the video, we got a 99 off the rebound. I'm playing with a lockdown who is also in the top 10, my boy Will. And then a point guard, Swags, um, who's on like a, just a 6'6 point guard that could shoot the ball, right? So as you can see, I'm getting blocks. We're getting threes. And if y'all didn't watch the beginning of the video, there's also an eight point mercy rule. So if we go up by eight or more points, at any point in any game, the game just ends. Or right, vice versa, we're down by eight or more points. So 
this was the first game of the event we already knew our strategy going into this because obviously you guys didn't already know the top six players for this event is based off my points so you're trying to get as many my points as possible in a six hour span of this event so my goal was to stack up as many stats as possible so you can see right here my teammates are purposely missing and we already knew this strategy because we were all gonna try to win the event and that's what this video is my entire team is going to try to win this event so right here this server you guys are watching is the server where i'm trying to get in the top six the next server i'm going to be on point guard that's the server where swags is going to try to get in the top six and then the next server after that is where i'm going to play lockdown and that's going to be with will trying to get in the top six so right here I, my whole team is trying to get me to get as many stats as possible you see right now i have two assists 10 rebounds and you know to do that you're going to want to get a decent lead as you can see we had we're up 8-2 but we give up a three right there we want them to score because we don't want the game to end too early we don't want to go up by more than eight points so it's kind of like a back and forth thing you want to play defense some possessions you don't want to play defense if you have a clear advantage against the other team and we thought we had a clear advantage against this team so obviously we're giving them some points and look at this point i have 25 rebounds because you know some possessions i have my team purposely miss shots and i go for the offense rebound just to get some more rebounds it's called stacking so i'm stacking rebounds and then every time we score the ball i'm getting the assist so that's the method if we play a bad team we stack rebounds and if we play a good team we try to 8 -0 as fast as possible that was literally our method look at this right here my teammate is just missing over and over and over now this can get tricky because you don't want your teammates to grade out so we had to keep track of the grades we had to keep track of the point differential as well because we don't want the game to end and we also had to keep track of the score in general because we also don't want to lose so there's a lot of things going on all at once which involved a lot of communication throughout this event but as you can see for the first game this game's been going on for like 10 minutes we're up 17 to 11 but it's going extremely well for the first game like look at i have 36 rebounds these dudes are both double teaming the paint trying their life to get a rebound but they physically couldn't like they were trying their best but you know obviously sometimes they get a rebound right there but i have 38 rebounds y'all i mean look at these stats this is insane i'm also getting an assist on every bucket we score you see swice it's another three off my assist right there so i have seven assists 39 rebounds in one turnover now i don't need a score necessarily that doesn't really give you a lot of my points so as long as i'm getting assists and rebounds that's what's going to give me the most my points and what's going to give me the best chance to get into this top six so right here we get the off ball he misses now he was trying to make that shot because at this point we're trying to end the game it's 20 to 17 it's getting a little risky i already have 41 rebounds that's more than good enough for our first game and then this dude hits a three so now it's 20 to 20 we have to score and thankfully we had some confidence we ended up winning that game the first game of the event 23 to 20 that was like a 10 15 minute game but look at we got 29.3 thousand my points subscribe to the channel right now if that's the most my points you had more my points than you ever got in this event because normally people get like six or seven k but i got 29k and look at i'm in first place and if y'all saw the timer it said five hours and 49 minutes so that first game took 11 minutes but we got 30k so that's honestly worth it so once again if we play bad teams that we think we can control the game against we're gonna stack rebounds if we play good teams we're just gonna try to end the game as fast as possible and get out of there and not necessarily stack stats if that makes sense because once again, we're trying to maximize our my points to get this unlimited Gatorade. And not to mention the 1.5 X times XP shirt. I feel like no one's really talking about that reward, but that reward might even be better than the unlimited Gatorade, depending on how you look at it. But anyways, I think the unlimited Gatorade is better, but they're both probably the two best rewards we've ever seen in any event. And it's in the same event. So anyways, as you can see, we're in the second game right here. And this team, you know they're they're scoring pretty well they're it's six to four we're still winning though i hit swags on the off ball he hits the three right there we're up nine to four i'm just kind of showing some footage in some of these games to show show y'all like what we were really going through what our methods were i'm also going to show full games close games y'all are going to see everything and this is just the first server where i'm on my center y'all going to see gameplay on my guard my lock all that because it's pretty crazy like this event was super competitive people were fiending to win this event but right here we're looking pretty boxed right here but we finally get open at the end of possession and we just end that game so that game wasn't nearly as long as the first game but we still got you know 6k my points for a game that took just a couple minutes like that game took four minutes we got 6k my points and i'm still 
you know, I'm still top six, so we're chilling, right? Going into game number three. Once again, this is a six hour event. So this is a this is longer than usual, you know what I'm saying? But look at, we're already stacking rebounds up six to three because we're so confident that we are better than the team we are playing against. And look at, these guys were trying their best to get rebounds against me. I'm fast forwarding through the gameplay. Look at, I have 30 rebounds. They're, they're, they literally just can't get a rebound. I have a 99 offensive rebound. I'm seven foot three. I have max wingspan, literally the longest wingspan you could physically have in this game. And I got my own mentality to take over. I mean, there's literally just nothing some of these two teams can do. Look at, I have 40 rebounds. And then after I get 40 rebounds, I'm just like, okay, we may as well get out of here. He misses one more time. And of course I tip it to them. Like that's how they end up. That's how some of these teams get the rebound. Like I'll tip it to them. It's like some dumb animation. But anyways, our third game. We're, th we're three games into this. Look at, we got 28.5K for that. We are three games into the event. I've already had two games. Oh my God, 69 overall center, bro. Come on, bro, this <laughs> one's so free. As you see, that was my reaction to reacting to a center that was guarding that was a 69 overall. But anyways, we're three games into this. We already have two 41 rebounds games. And look at this game. A 69 overall center decided to pull up. I have 41 rebounds again, again. I mean, we couldn't have had a better start to this event when it comes to my points. And we get a steal right there. We're up 17 to 12. I hit swags. He's got my own mentality. I got my own mentality. And we just get out of that game. Because once we get to 40 rebounds, you can keep stacking rebounds. There's not really a limit. But we don't want to go too long. You know what I'm saying? So we may as well just stop right there. And look at, I'm first place. We're 30 minutes into the event. And I've played four games. That just goes to show you how long some of these games are taking just for us to stack rebounds. But it ends up being worth it in the long run when it comes to those my points but anyways we're in another game right here we're already up eight to two so we don't want to end the game we don't want to score again so if we score again the game's gonna end and oh, look at my stats i only have six rebounds three assists so i ended up stacking rebounds and look at these dudes know what they're doing or know what i'm doing so they are double teaming the paint trying to get a rebound while contesting swags i mean honestly all three of them as well sit in the paint and they still can't get a rebound look at this I mean, you're about to see a crazy rebound streak. They didn't have a center. So I had a huge advantage on the rebounding stat and there was nothing they could do. I mean, look at this. I'm fast forwarding like times 60 speed. And I mean, you can clearly see, I just, they tried to foul a couple times. I'm getting, we, this is, this is one possession y'all. This is one possession. Look at the rebounds on the top right. Just keep going up. This is a singular possession of me getting offensive rebound over and over and over. And there's nothing these kids can do about it. They're look at you can clearly see they're trying their best. They finally get the ball, and it's just from me tipping out of bounds. So that was like seven minutes of gameplay of us just purposely missing, and the other team just physically not being able to get the rebound i mean i'm gonna show some game chat reactions in this video and you're gonna see some people genuinely get mad at their teammates and get frustrated throughout this video but anyways we're 40 minutes in the event we're playing a decent team right here and we're just continuing to do what we do best we're up seven right here and this game we decided to just get out of it because they had a they had like two taller centers we got out of it it was like a four minute game and it's ak my point so that's good 45 minutes in and look at how I am so far ahead of everybody. Like this is looking like a complete blowout for this event. Once again, as you can see, if you looked at the top right stats, we had like 33 bounds. We get 24 K for that. So if you get to 40 rebounds, you definitely get like 28, 30 K, but like 30 rebounds is like 24 K. So we're starting to see, you know, how much my points we get for how many rebounds, but look at this game, 45 rebounds. 46 rebounds look at their triple team in the paint we i even had will come and help me box out just to give me even better chance to get the rebound look at lebron james jersey dude is giving up he finally gets a rebound and look at i have 51 rebounds and then we finally decide to end the game so right there for 51 rebounds i got 35,000 my points i'm in first place and i'm up 50k on second and all we need to get is top six like we don't even need to get first place we just need to get top six to get the rewards and we're way ahead of seventh place so we are chilling right now this game right here we decide to end it super fast because they had a footer on their team or they had an ai but we still had 41 rebounds i mean we just blew them out we're an hour and 11 minutes in we've only played like we haven't even gotten to a 10 game win streak yet this lebron james jersey dude is pulling up again how do we tell him you're not getting a rebound on me buddy we end that game right there with like 30 something rebounds and as you guys can clearly see we we try to get at least 30 rebounds against bums but if we're playing a good team we're just gonna try to go up eight 
and end that game as soon as possible but as you're seeing we're not playing that many good teams like we're literally just flooding the teams that we're playing against while getting a lot of rebounds look at that game 37 rebounds Twenty-seven thousand my points wait so this one ends at 11 or bro i'm up 10. on second by sixty-six thousand, bro as you can see like i'm excited i'm up by a lot but going into the second full game we're going to show on this center you're going to see uh we're playing a good team right here all goat tiers and this shit as soon as you can bro yo will back door right here see i'm calling out plays i'm calling out back doors and i'm saying yo end it as soon as possible because y'all know if we're playing sweats we're just gonna try to end it we're not even gonna try to stack because we know it's just gonna get too difficult we might risk losing the court which is the last thing we want to do so right here i still want to get every assist i can get swag shoots a terrible shot though he misses that trying to force my assist and i'm like yo you don't have to shoot every catch and shoot off my shot if it's not a good shot don't take that shot right so it's two to two four seconds on the clock we're trying to get something he shoots a pretty decent shot but shoots a very early wide open and he misses so it's two to two we're back on defense taking on a full goat tier squad and look at will playing great defense right there gets a stop hits me i have literally blinking i have like no energy i hit swags he's getting set an off ball he shoots the little mid-range shot and gets it to go on the open so we're up four to two and we're just trying to go up by eight points or just win the game however we need to win it and end the game as fast as possible that's what we're trying to do so this dude attacks the basket i unfortunately do not get the block i, I wish i got that block. i have a 92 block on this build so i don't know why my player's not jumping for that but anyways we're trying to set off ball screens it's not really working these guys are playing very good defense they blitzed our guard they get the stop he's trying to attack the basket and our defense leaves a guy wide open and now we're down seven to four so this is looking bad we are at risk for our first loss in this event because we haven't even really been losing in any of the games we've been playing until right now so we're down seven to four i'm like yo at this point i don't even need an assist let's just try to score the ball so i hit swags try to get this dude stuck on the screen he runs to the corner and gets an open shot and gets it to go so now it's a tie game at seven apiece we need a stop you see we're on the firewall we're probably on exactly a 10 game once you get swags gets the steal i could have took that dunk right there but we want threes okay we're trying to end this game we're trying to get an eight point lead okay he dexes him off ball and look at the off ball movement leading to the wide open three now we're up 10 to 7 and i have four assists so it's not looking bad i get my first rebound of the game right there i throw it down the court my 92 pass i see another green and now we're up six points if we get a stop in a bucket the game's gonna end because of the mercy rule but unfortunately he gets a dunk so they're up or they're down four points no matter if we even get a three right here the game won't end so we're just trying to get any bucket we could possibly get and hope for a stop the next possession i am playmaking takeover to hopefully help swags hit his next shot that he ends up shooting but the shot clock's wanted down eight seconds he shoots contested misses a 43 percent i hit him right back and that is an open because the defender doesn't have his hand up well, actually it was at like a three eight percent something like that but they get a midi right back so we're up five if we get a three right here the game ends because of the eight point mercy rule so i hit swags and play take from half court and sharp take plus play take that's green and that ends the game without us going to 21 so that's a w right there we get 9k my points for a comp game not too bad we're on like a little little 11 game win streak i'm still first place way ahead of everyone else we're playing another goat tier right here in this game and this you know this game lasted a little longer but look at i have 23 rebounds that's a that's pretty good for a game that you know is against a go tier team you know what i'm saying so 20k my points from that and when we were talking about like our strategy we were like yo that's really good for a, a comp game right there uh anyways next game 36 rebound game we're going crazy we won that game 10 to 0 i mean they didn't even score and i had 36 rebounds Twenty five thousand my points we are zooming through this event right now we're on a 14 game win streak think about that we've only played 14 games and we're two hours in that just goes to show you how much we're stacking these rebounds and make and drawing these games out against teams that we know were much better than so right here we're up 19 to 16 i have 30 rebounds we're like okay let's end the game it's getting a little too close we don't want to lose a game so no matter how many stats i have if a game is close to us losing like even relatively close we just end the game so right here our 15 16 game win streak whatever get into our next game and at this point we have such a high lead that we are very comfortable in just taking our wins right here we're up 20 to 18 though we need to stop 
Uh, these dudes are playing pretty good. He's wide open for three and he hits it. We're down 21 to 20. We didn't even get to stack this game. We're just genuinely playing bad defense. Look at my stats. Seven assists, four, I have four rebounds. Like this team isn't even that good too. Like y'all saw there's like silver tiers. Like we, we already beat better teams this event. 20 to 17 or 21, 20. Swags misses wide open. I don't get the rebound. And if they score, we lose. This dude's wide open sharp take. And we lose our first game of the event. And honestly, I was a little upset because I thought we, we shot bad that game. Our defense was terrible. I was like, you know what? We have such a big lead on first place. There's no need to fret. Like we're we're chilling. Okay. We're chilling. That's what I was saying. We're good. We just got to get back on the court. And that's exactly what we do. You see, we get back on the court and we just got to beat this team off the court and start streaking again and getting our rebounds. You see, I'm in the lanes right here. We have 29 rebounds against a team that was already streaking on the court. And we end that game absolute flood right there and we get 21,000 so we're back on pace okay we're chilling we are less than four hours left in this event so we're getting to that halfway point we're playing another decent team right here we're up 20 to 15 I have 18 rebounds and I'm like you know what let's just get out of here we're playing a gold tier team we don't want to mess around with it just get out of that game 17,000 my points and the very good start that we had to this event was actually very nice to have that little like comforting lead that we did have because you know we can end games like that and not really be worried about getting a, a x amount of rebounds but right there we wanted that game to last longer but swags accidentally took a layup but it is what it is we have a comfortable lead we can make we can make mistakes like that 23,000 my points right here we end that game i had 40 rebounds that game so that's a 29,000 my point game and this is why i like to show every single game because you guys are seeing all the opponents i play against you guys are seeing all the stats i'm getting in each game you guys are seeing the my points i'm getting in each game because a lot of these events are won by boosters but i am one of the few people that actually wins these events consistently without having to do that and that's why i like to upload these videos even if they're longer like this video right here Holy shit, he just realized chat. Uh, B plus. Will has a B plus, bro. Will, go crazy. What the fuck? I got a C minus. Uh, that should have got it. Uh, you're 6 off 40. Oh, 5 off 40. See. Wait, wait, wait on this one. Got it, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh my god. Get it, get it, get it. Sorry, it's we're still we're st y'all heard that like that, there's even game chat of Voices of people like literally reacting to me just rebounding over and over they're like yo He's purposely missing and they still can't get the rebound <laughs> So that just shows you how much we were dominating this event How much people just literally could not out rebound the center build and right here We're gonna go for a quick 8-0 against this team rotate that You're out there. Me. You missed you missed Let's go. Come on get this out Get us out! Come on, man! Like, this is real footage of us actually dominating an event that is relatively supposed to be dominated by people that are cheating. But we're out here playing legit and dominating the leaderboards. We are in first place with like 480,000 my points right here. We had to wait a little bit to get that game, but we finally get a game again. And we are getting closer and closer to the finish line. And wow. Uh, my game froze yeah that was a big setback i ended up having to dashboard you probably thought your youtube froze or something. no my game froze i don't know why my xbox does that a lot but you see we're two hours and 40 minutes left i'm still in first place but going into the third full game we're going to show we're playing a almost a full goat tier team that was streaking on this court but we got to get a court ourselves and there's no open courts so we decided to pull up and we're like okay we got to lock in. We're obviously not going to be stacking against this team. So we have to try to 8-0 them as fast as possible. Get an 8-0 lead as fast as possible. Right here, this dude misses wide open. I get the rebound. I hit swags. I'm not even really worried about my assist, but we end up hitting me. This dude reaches out to play, and he's caught off guard with the pass to swags, and he gets an open three. We're up three to zero. So here we go. We need to stop. This dude pump fakes. We're playing solid defense. We're trying to get our second stop in a row. We get a foul. It's all good. It's all good. If we get a stop right here, we get a quick three. That means we're up six to zero. And then we're a possession away from getting these dudes off the court in like literally a minute and a half. Anyways, we're playing great defense. They have nothing to go. They have no open shots. 
They have nothing. Look at this defense. Four seconds. Three seconds. Swags is on that. I ended up helping. Terrible shot. Contested layup. I throw it on the fast break. Swags pull up three. That's green. Now we have a six-point lead. A stop in any bucket. And we get this team off of the court in like 60 seconds. I mean, the game just started. This dude tried to shoot a step back three, and they called a foul. That's unfortunate, but we're good. We're going to get a stop. Step back three again. He misses. He misses the open throw. I throw the swags. He dunks the ball. And just like that, with the eight-point mercy rule, we beat that team in literally less than 60 seconds, basically. And I got 6K my points from that as well. So that's pretty good for a game that literally ended in a snap of a finger. Okay? So next game, 20 to 18. We're trying to get out of here. I have 22 rebounds. But once again, yes, we like to go for 30-plus rebound games. But this game's too close for comfort. So we ended up just finishing it out. Getting that team off the court, that's 20K my points. And look at, we're still first place. I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but <clears throat> literally since game number one started or ended in this event, I have been first place after every game. Like this is complete domination of this event. And we're out here on a 7-3 center, just trying to dominate everyone under the basket like we're prime Shaq, okay? We get six assists, 22 rebounds, and that game right there. We're putting up wilt numbers out here, okay? We're putting up wilt numbers in the Rumble, in the K event, and then my game freezes again. I mean, I, I can't, bro. I don't know what's good. I, it's not my Xbox, because this doesn't happen on any other video games I play except 2K. But of course, my game freezes, so I have to dashboard, load up into another Rumble on the K server, and get on another court. But thankfully, we go up eight pretty fast against this team that was streaking. And I got 28,000 my points from it as well. And we end up getting on a court again and streaking again. So right here, we're up 19 to 18. It's a close game. These dudes have mom mentality takeover. Swags makes the layup, though. Only got 13 rebounds that game, but 15K my points. As long as we're winning, that's all that matters with the big lead that we do have. Because yes, first place would be nice, but all I need to get is top six. As If I get sixth place, that's cool too. Like, I just want top six. So right here, 19 to 16, end up winning that 22 to 16. And things are looking good. That game was only 10K, but look at, we're still in first place going absolutely stupid. 18 to 13 right here. Swags misses the open mid range because he's trying to give me a rebounds. And that was my 50th rebound of the game. So we end up just finishing it off. I mean, bro, 50 rebounds, 33,000 my points. It's looking crazy right now. It's looking crazy. An hour and a half left, and I'm still first place. Still first place. The first person to pass 600,000 my points. Now, if you guys were watching the leaderboards at all throughout the weekend, or you guys play this event, let me know what you guys thought of it. But you probably noticed that a lot of people were like in the millions because after the first couple servers, and thankfully I won in the first couple servers, people started cheating like crazy in this event. So that's another reason, like I was talking about earlier, why I like to show my gameplay of these events and show that it is possible to win legit because the competitiveness of these events are just so fun. And that's why I like playing them. But unfortunately in some servers, people do ru ruin them by cheating. But yeah, that was happening in other events. So thankfully we didn't have to deal with that, but you're gonna see my how what I ended up finishing with, the my points I finished with compared to what servers you guys probably were looking at when you were playing the Rumble in the K. It's kind of interesting to compare. Okay. Real quit immediately to save his record. Like these dudes do not be having good records, bro. They just quit before they lose, like right before they lose. Right? <laughs> well, you see right there, I'm ranting a little bit during the Rumble in the K event, but have y'all noticed that too? Like dudes be flexing their records in 2K24 but they're quitting right before games to like avoid the loss. Apparently there's a method to do that. Like, and that dude did it against us that he like some sweat pulled up and then quit right as he lost and we like completely destroyed them. Anyways, there, there be some fake win percent. These dudes be flexing their win percents out there. And in reality, they don't even have a good win percent, bro. They're, they're faking the record out here. Anyways, fade away green, swags hits that right there. We win that game and we are getting very, very close to the end of this event. 30K my points again. But moving on to the next game, just listen it. Oh yeah, they're all purple in all games. Right, right. Yeah, since we beat yeah, they still run our ass. Beat the fuck out of them. So these dudes were clearly watching us from the sideline, and they noticed that we were getting a lot of rebounds. So they're like, "Yo, we're on your ass!" Like that stuff is over with. They're talking crazy, like. 
they are very confident in beating us. So I'm like, I told my teammates, yo, let's let's beat that, let's beat the heck out of them. Get them off this court. Let's humble these dudes. Now they end up getting an offense rebound right there. They were excited about that rebound. I don't even know how they got that rebound, but three to two. We're up three to two. I'm trying to get my assist. Swags gets wide open off the decks. We're up six to two. So we're like, okay, bet we get a quick stop right here. And we can 8 these guys early. Look at Will. He gets the stop we needed. Gets an easy steal. I hit him right back for the easy mid-range. Just like that. We're up six in a blink of an eye. If we get a stop right here and a score, we can get these dudes off the quick or off, off the court real quick. Okay. So you see they're still talking crazy in game chat. Step back three. And that ends up being a wide open. So good shot by him. Now they're down three points. Swags corner three. He gets that three right back. We're right back up by six points once again. Once again, we're met with the same thing. We need to stop. And this dude hits another step back three on sorry. It's like, bro, how many times are we going to fall for this LeBron step back? Anyways, 14 to 11. We're looking for another three. I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to take the dunk. It's wide open. I took it. We're up five points. We end up getting another stop. So I shoot the three and get him off the court. You're so lucky I can't talk in game chat. Bro, you literally shot five wide opens and he's screaming about his end, bro. Not a single one was even a yellow, bro. Bro, at the beginning of the game, they were like, we on your ass. And now they're like, we should have stayed where we were at. Like, bro, the energy really just be shifting, bro. <laughs> that was super funny. They ended up playing us again, as you can see in game chat. And, you know, whoa, you probably could have guessed. Guess what happened? Yeah, they ended up uh, losing again. But yeah, I mean, the energy did shift it a lot. Shout out to those guys because they were pretty funny. They were funny in game chat. But yeah, they literally went from we on your ass like you're about to get dropped off to we should have just stayed where we were at. Like, I thought that was funny. But yeah, uh, subscribe to the channel if uh, you know you thought that was funny because I just thought that interaction was pretty funny. But anyways, we're ending games super quick. We are getting to the very end of this event, which is once again, attempt number one of three of us winning this event in this video. So this is just me on my center and we are completely dominating this event. I mean, there is very few time left. We're still first place. This game right here ended up getting pretty close. We ended up winning 22 to 19, only got 11K for that. But at this point, I mean, you can see the park is starting to die out. I don't even care if we're stacking rebounds at this point. There's 19 minutes left and I am completely ahead of everyone else i i could literally go to sleep and i will still win this event <laughs> like that's how big of a lead i have on seventh place and we are guaranteed top six i'm still first place 17k from that game once again i'm just gonna show every single game that we play throughout the whole six hour of this specific server that i did win just to show y'all that we did dominate this server legit on the big center build on the shack build whatever you want to call it this 7-3 demigod okay um going into the next game i think this was one of our last this i think this was actually the last game potentially i'm not 100 sure but we're up eight to three i have 26 rebounds i hit swags with the assist get that eight point lead right there there's another 20k my point game and we are still first place we hop off the court because the event is about to end we check the leaderboards there's no time left and i am first place the first ever rumble in the k event is completely dominated and as soon as they kicked us out of the signature event center thanks for playing rubble on the k congratulations and look at this i got my vc i got my boost i got my unlimited gatorade boost and my 1.5 times xp shirt and look at this it does show 99 but those are unlimited boosts now we have unlimited gatorade unlimited ball handling unlimited rebounding unlimited dunks unlimited steals all that's left is block and shooting boost and we will have completed the ultimate event challenge this year and literally unlock old unlimited boost and become Thanos, right? So you see the rumble on the K shirt look at fire gonna give me that 1.5 times XP, which is gonna be cool. But anyways, I'll see y'all when the next event drops. I almost forgot that I was even doing this challenge. I mean, it has literally been two months since the last event, damn near. But finally, they dropped an event in the event schedule called Deep End. Now, it's currently April 5th, 2024, so we have a little over a week until this event drops on April 13th. But everyone's saying that this Deep End event is literally the replacement of Ruffles. So it's literally just going to be Ruffles just without the sponsorship. So there's going to be a four-point bonus, a four-point 
front line, all that good stuff. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to play on center again for this event because if y'all know anything about deep end or well, not deep end, but ruffles, centers always win ruffles way easier and get way more my points than guard so i'm gonna assemble a deep end squad aka a ruffles squad i'm gonna be on center for sure unless like the meta for whatever reason changes for this event or it's a different event hopefully giving out shooting boost if this is not giving out shooting boost then i don't even know because all we have left is shooting and i think block boost i mean hopefully block boost comes soon after that because we've already waited a couple months just for these last two boosts but anyways i'll be back when deep end starts on april 13th deep end has officially started now i originally started to win this event on the first server my first attempt i tried to win it on guard now i ended up getting like 17th place but anyways these were the rewards top five get some vc a jersey and unlimited shooting boosts which is one of the boosts we are missing so that is officially confirmed but anyways let's go ahead and show you guys exactly how this event's going to work and even a couple highlights with me on guard uh, in the event the first ever deep end event an event giving out the best prizes to the best shooters this event is basically identical to ruffles giving out a four point bonus for every four pointer made and handing out more and more my points for stats and fours all in a four hour race to top five in the world to win it all now i do have experience in this event considering i have won ruffles in 2k19 2k20 2k21 2k22 and 2k23 but we will have some obstacles to overcome with everyone guarding that four point line other teams holding ball on us to stall time and 2k turning error codes into ban hammers so now you guys have know how the event works and all of that this uh was my team when i was on guard we didn't win uh you can see the leaderboards i got 17th place on guard and everyone that was winning outside of like maybe like one person was on center so once again i went to center for this event and uh we attempted it on there as you can see the event just started it's time to rock and roll okay i got 14th place in the first server it's time to get top five you see i got swags on popper eight one on um a popper as well he's like a lock shooter he can shoot the four but he also has defense and then we got cme on guard okay so first game on it's time to go we got to end games super fast. And now that I have a guard that has Hall of Fame limitless range and a 99 three-pointer. Yes, my guard, he's already missing open. Like, bro, is this dude a worse shooter than me? What? Okay, I was about to say, I, I didn't think he was going to miss both of them to start the, 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 the server. But anyways, yeah, this dude had a 99 three-pointer. He's missing right now, but he's taking bad shots. I got Hall of Fame dimer or gold dime or something like that he has 99 three with hall of fame limitless range i got all these crazy passing badges and every time i activate takeover i'm gonna activate play take he's gonna activate sharp take he's also rise affiliation so he does get heat check so every third grain he has a massive boost to his green window so this was like the ultimate ruffles lineup we got two defenders that are kind of baiting the offense to shoot bad shots like that one right there i get the rebound i'm gonna chuck it down to a guy with a 99 three-pointer with also the best Best jump shot in the game patty mills base which like is very hard to contest you're gonna see a lot of the shots my guard shoots in this video it's gonna look like he's contested but it's gonna or contested but it's gonna say he's open because that patty mills but after one game a five minute game i'm in fifth place with twenty thousand my points so we're already off to a better start so getting into game two you're gonna see really what we're looking for so the defender we wanted to have swags on the left eight one on the right guarding kind of the wings in the corner so we don't really want them to attempt any twos because as you can see it's just a four or a two we want the other teams especially the bad teams to walk up attempt to shoot a four and most likely or not, they're gonna miss it. Like this right here. This dude's just way too deep. He has like an 83 pointer. We knew that from checking their stats. That was very important checking their stats. Look at Swag setting the off ball. And I'm just gonna throw it down with Gold Dimer. And he's gonna shoot what most of the time is gonna be an open shot on the fast break because he's cherry picking. And also, my pass is gonna get there super fast because I have a 97 pass act. And then the Gold Dimer boosted the heat checks, the takeovers. Now I have play take the catch and shoot badge the limitless range badge the claymore like it's just all combining and especially green machine into like a huge boost to my guards jump shot right and a chance of greening a shot but you see i'm throwing turnovers but look at look at our defense our defensive strategy was literally just to try to make them shoot long fours and it was working i mean they're missing most of the you see they have two points and we're just leaving them every single time and i'm just gonna grab the rebound chuck it down to the guard and look at he's wide open i mean that's another oh okay he's not open right there but he misses that because they got back in time but look at i'm gonna hit him back he's gonna shoot a wide open fade 
and okay he missed it again but y'all get it he's getting open every single time so look at this this dude's never gonna make that shot what is his three-pointer probably not good enough to shoot from that deep with no take and no nothing in his takeover and then yeah my guard is just trolling i don't know what he's shooting this game should have ended way faster but y'all get our method this is what we were going to try to accomplish every single game for the four hours now right here it's not throwing him out but he ends up shooting an open four and we get out of that game and we're joining invites too so every time the game is over we join the event center and get right back into a game because that's faster than just waiting through the menus and getting your vc getting your my points etc etc so right here like we said we're playing like a 2-1 zone almost if that's how you want to look at it we don't want to give up easy corner shots we don't want to give up easy two pointers no layups no dunks we want the other team to shoot for us especially if they're not good and then that leads to an open shot all right we're for we're, we're, I'm, I'm two, four. I'm, two. I'm, bro, I'm literally four i'm two I'm fifth How am I yo fifth? we're all top five we are all top five you and you can see our reaction was crazy like our whole team was top five of the couple, first couple games obviously that wasn't gonna last because the people that are getting a lot of the stats is gonna be me on center and then of course our guard cme on point guard shooting all the shots right so we gotta have another game right there low back in the event start look at i'm third place and our guard is first place like we are locked in we're finishing games super fast we hop right back into another game we're back in our 2-1 zone look at he walks up stares at a four-pointer shoots it doesn't even make it because his three-pointer is not high enough to shoot from that deep we got a 99 three-pointer though we're gonna make that every time but getting into the next game after being second place right here you're gonna see we're gonna run into a familiar face from our 126 game win streak video and just take a listen to what I had to say when I said kid, isn't that kid that holds ball? I don't know who the that is. That kid pulled up on my like 120 game win streak and started holding ball and trying to glitch the court. So if you guys don't know who that is, if you watched my 126 game win streak, this guy pulled up on like a post score, was like holding ball, trying to like glitch our court, basically just trying to like end our streak in a without beating us kind of thing. So we knew this dude was kind of weird, like so we knew we had to lock in we were like okay he might hold ball and it's not a good start cme missing wide open shooting an early open to start the, like we can't have that we gotta score our points but after the first possession it looks like they're trying to beat us but they shoot a late cme's cherry picking i throw it down to him and he misses wide open again it's like yo bro you gotta hit these shots like we can't be missing against good teams like this okay but he shoots we play good defense right there we leave this dude open for a four we knew he didn't have a high enough limitless range so he ends up missing that we throw it to cme he gets wide open off the pull up dribble pull up shot gets a four to go right there so we're up four to zero and this team's still trying to score so it's like okay maybe they're not gonna hold ball he makes a mid-range right there because there is no three then he shoots from super deep misses that so now it's eight to two and after this cherry picked four pointer now we're up 12 to two and then they start realizing they're not gonna win this game. So this dude, like his weirdo tendencies are, starts holding ball. Cause he knows, we're, he sees us on the top of the leaderboards. So he's trying to, and he knows we wanna end games fast to stay on the top of those leaderboards. So he ends up trying to hold ball, trying to waste as much time as possible to make it more difficult for us to get out of this game fast to try to avoid us from winning this event, okay? Just some weird stuff that's gonna happen. And by the way, this is not the first time that someone's gonna hold ball on us. It's just a weird thing to do. It's just like, you're not gonna get anything out of it. What's what's the point? What did I do to you type of thing? Like, it's just not something you should do unless some, like, unless there's a re like, there's no reason for them to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't have a reason to do this. So it's like, okay, whatever. We're just gonna have to deal with it. We just gotta get out of this game, okay? It is what it is. We can't really, we gotta control what we can control. So I throw it back to CME. He's getting triple teamed right now. So I'm like, all right, should we just throw it to 8-1? Like CME is trying to win the event, but we might just hit 8-1 right here. So 8-1 tries to get behind the four. He doesn't get behind it. So he bails out of it, hits me back. I'm like, okay, I'll hit you. He shoots the four, misses. I get the rebound. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna hit CME, try to get him something. I'm not trying to also avoid a three second violation. I hit CME or 8-1 back. And he accidentally shoots the two because he has that Tracy McGrady base that keeps pulling you in for a four pointer, just like it was on my point guard build. And what you know, next possession, they're holding ball again, just like they have been since the score was literally like what, 12 or eight to two. It's wasting a lot of time, but we were like, okay, we just got to avoid fouling. We got to make sure we get the rebound and we got to make sure we score when we do get the ball. So I throw it back to CME. He's getting double teamed. It's just, we could take a two, but we want our four point bonus. He gets kind of open off that. And well, that wasn't open. I mean, see that shot did not look open, but that Patty Mills jump shot, I'm telling y'all, if you're a six, four under, you got to use it. You're just, you're just going to get open. But we dropped the fifth place after they were holding ball on us. And then we get into another game and thank god we did not get comp this game because if we got comp it would have really slowed down but we got some bums 
so this was going to be a quick game right they start triple team and cme that's play take that's green game over fifth place still we are 30 minutes into the event and we are still top five now fifth place is like very risky like that's one spot off of not getting the jump shot boost not getting the rewards and all that so we gotta try to move up the ranks as much as we can before that four hour timer runs out so you see i got play take cme got sharp take and i feel like a lot of people be forgetting how overpowered some stuff like that is and like special delivery is like play take plus sharp take is insane on this game and i got like you're gonna see some crazy clips in this video like you can shoot from so deep with that especially with your green machine going like that's why i kept popping plates because i knew i was gonna get the rebound regardless i don't need defense to take right as he misses a bad shot right there i don't need defense to take i'm gonna get the rebound i have a 99 rebound i have hall of fame rebound chaser i'm seven foot three max wingspan no one's really even going to fight me on the boards most of the games anyways so i may as well just pop play take every time and that's gonna you're gonna that's what you're gonna see me do throughout this video and like it's gonna help us get points up faster right there so after that game we're in fourth place now we're about 40 minutes into the event and i'm literally gonna show like every game in this server because you're gonna see how fast we're ending these games i mean i should have probably counted out how many games we did play because there were some games we were ending in like two or three minutes okay because the other team just couldn't hit a four and we were just getting the rebound and throwing it down to a 99 three pointer and getting the game over with in a snap of a finger right so we play this team right here they have like an ai that like quit out so that's kind of a good thing because the ai doesn't really contest you from out on the four point line you see the ai's on cme right here play take sharp take patty mills jump shot he's just gonna shoot right over that on the line and now we load back into another game now for whatever reason i don't think i was checking leaderboards right here but we're gonna it's gonna throw us back into another deep end game and it's just like we gotta lock in right and we get into this game right here and it's got us frozen here wait what do we do right here oh, no, there we go there we go there we go oh my god oh my god, we god. Oh my god bro oh my god. God. nobody can shoot 88 oh my god bro i'm holding my breath on that screen bro like god oh, damn bro now that was the same frozen screen that got us two error codes that led to a 30 minute ban in the first server so that's why i was freaking out like holding my breath i'm like yo thank god it put us in the game because that could end us our event right there like that's something that's kind of out of our control as you see we're playing another goat tier right here that could affect us negatively and let make us not win this event right so we get out of another couple games right there and i'm in fourth place right now like and the the gap between like first and tenth is starting to grow a little bit because you know obviously the top tier teams are going to grow a bigger lead the more the event goes on so we're starting to grow a little lead on like that sixth place because that's where we what we really want to do i want to get as big as a lead possible in sixth place to kind of give me a cushion to secure that top five because that's all that matters as long as you get top five, you get the same rewards as first place, right? It doesn't matter if you're fifth, fourth, third, second, or first. You see, we're playing a really bad team right here. I mean, we're letting these dudes shoot anything. They couldn't hit a shot. It's 20 to zero. I'm throwing it right down the CME with that 99 three-pointer. And that's great. Okay, we're getting in game super fast. Still fourth place. And we already have like 330,000 my points. And we're an hour and eight minutes into this event. I mean, we're on pace to getting over a mil. Play the sharp tank. And that's just going off the right off the backboard. And that's green fourth place once again we're kind of really stuck in the fourth place which is fine you know we're not on that fifth place but look at this we're playing a dude with a 91 three-point percentage and a dude with a hundred three-point percentage and a dude with a 62 in their goat tier so we're like okay we got a comp game here okay the second full game we're showing on this server the first one was a ball holder and now we're playing dudes with crazy oh my swags is in the lane that is huge that's good and then i throw it right back Despite my 97 pass, like it doesn't get through. And that 5'10, yes, that point guard, 5'10 point guard or something was in that lane. So we're thinking, okay, CME's just gonna be able to shoot over this 5'10 dude because he probably doesn't have perimeter. Now he has Patty Mills jump shot, but no, he gets a good contest, gets a 9% contested on that. Probably was a little too deep for sure. First shot being contested, but look at we get this steal. He shoots a wide open shot as a and he misses i was about to say like getting wide open on the first shot is huge the build green machine but he missed that shot right there why is cme missing when it matters bro there we go okay he gets the green right there so now it's four to two right we're trying to get a stop and some of these teams just don't care about the four point bonus thing they just want to win so they'll shoot twos they'll take dunks they'll take layups they don't they'll just ignore the four point line that's why we kind of 
force teams to shoot them by leaving them wide open so it's like oh maybe i should shoot the four pointer and then end up missing but anyways yeah so six to four right here they're taking another two eight one accidentally shot another two of that t-mac bases you saw he misses i'm throwing it right down the cme that's wide open y'all already know that is chicken being green 10 to 4 we're back on defense they shoot another four right here they miss i mean they're not even shooting good i don't know if they, this team got nervous or something playing me but they were not making their shots i mean 91 100 shooters shooting from four and there's sh maybe some of these shots were too deep for their three-point ratings but they could not make a shot i have cme would play take that's off the backboard that's another open even with the patty mills jump shot it's just too overpowered and that's 18 to 6 right here i got five rebounds three assists or three rebounds five assists we're trying to end the game right here he took a two so that's why we only have 18 and look at wide open with the play take and the sharp take and we're out of that game just like that i mean that was supposed to be a comp game and we got it out of there like that and now we're playing a bum team look at we're up 20 to 4 swags gets the clutch deal i throw the cme he's wide open at the four point line and we're out of another game so we're trying to like i said trying to get out of these games as fast as possible and i'm fourth place right now and we gotta keep going i'm not that much ahead of sixth place but the faster we end these games, maybe I get up to third, maybe I get up to second, but that cushion needs to grow from sixth place if we want to get in and keep, stay in the race, okay, for top five, because this event is very sought after. People want these jump shot boosts. People want clothing that is going to be rare, like this blue jersey and this blue arm sleeve. The only arm sleeve so far this year that is going to be conclusive to top five or whatever in an event, okay? so. Because a lot of these clothings are participation. This one, they have some clothing that's not participation. So anyways, we get out of another game right there. I'm still fourth place. We're nearly at 500,000. And we're also nearly halfway through the event. Which once again means we're on pace for over a million my points. So we get into another game right here. Another bum game. I'm hitting uh, CME on the throwback pass. He misses wide open to start. It's just like games like this, we can't be missing. Because it's like they're so bad, we can end the game just like that so we get another fast break because these dudes can't hit a shot it's just like yo cme you gotta hit these bro like people are on our ass they're right behind us bro they are right behind us they want to take our spot but he ended up heating up in this game we're up 20 to 0 play take sharp take patty mills y'all already know how that is bro that's just gonna be green we're looking at the leader are we gonna look at the leaderboards i don't know sometimes i just wasn't pulling out the leaderboards so we don't look at it right there we're playing goat tiers we're playing gold tiers flooding this team as well because a lot of these you know gold goat tiers yeah they're golden goat tiers in the park maybe in whatever game mode they play but not in deep end deep end is completely different the four point line is a huge factor right here look at play the sharp tech he's green in that and i'm still fourth place so i've been locked in fourth place for like at least an over an hour at this point which is a good and kind of a concerning thing but look at we're playing a goat tier team right here get into the first play i'm trying to hit cme for a quick dot he shoots his shot right there doesn't make that even though it wasn't i mean that was open with patty mills i don't know how that was open but it was open but they, that dude ended up cherry picking so we ended up getting a free four and yeah we're just trying to hawk we're trying to get a steal this dude shoots a terrible shot right there what is he shooting who knows we throw it right down the cme he hits a shot right there so we're already up eight to zero against this goat tier lineup they ended up quitting you see they're all jumping at him but that's an open I mean, that was wide open actually yo patty mills base is crazy the whole team's jumping at him and they say that it's a wide open i mean yo two hours and 15 minutes left to go and it seems like we've been in this event forever like we've put in so much work we've played so many games we're getting out of games like that and we still got two hours and 15 minutes to go to stay in this top five like we could easily lose this event still play to sharp or sharp play yeah play to sharp take get out of that game again and we're still fourth place with over 500,000 my points and there's two hours nine minutes left we get into another game right here we're playing more goats and gold tiers right so here's another full game we'll show first play we hit cme he makes that it's an open shot gold dimer we're locked in okay that's a great start to the game if we can green our first shot that's huge to build and look at this the first play these dudes must have seen us on top of the leaderboards and they were holding ball the entire game from the first play and i'm like bro what like what is going on the set this is the second team that is held ball on us and yes this is going to affect and look at size of the clutch steal right there Yes, this is gonna affect us. This is wasting hella time. Like we could get finish the game in like two or three minutes. Instead, this game might be double, maybe triple, maybe quad. I mean, it's gonna be quadruple the time if CME is shooting shots like that. 
Now they get another 24 seconds to erase from our timer. And it's just like, oh my gosh, man, we cannot like we can't afford wasting time like this so you see this dude's gonna dribble around he's not looking to score obviously they're just trying to waste time they're trying to hold ball they're not trying to win this game another shot clock violation we're trying to get cme open he's getting quadruple team yes we could hit a1 but cme's trying to win the event too and he's not gonna win the event if he's not shooting the ball right so he gets wide open right there and he misses like we need those shots, man. It's just getting frustrating. We're getting rattled. The whole team's jumping at them, but they're jumping way too late. That's a wide open four, and we get it. So we're up 12 to two now. And once again, they're going to hold the ball for another 24 seconds. Hey, it is what it is, man. This is just some of the stuff you got to deal with in an event and some of the stuff that you're just going to have to expect in events. I mean, this happens almost every event. I get ball held on me, so I'm used to it at this point. It's just an obstacle you're going to have to overcome uh, in events when people see you on the leaderboards. They're just going to do weird stuff like this. That's just how it is. That's how events are. It's how you got to deal with it. Now, 12 to 2 right here. CME gets wide open for and he misses it's like yo okay whatever i wasn't gonna get an assist for that anyways so i guess we'll take it i throw it to him they're in the lanes it goes out of bounds it's like yo like what is going on they're holding ball for another 24 seconds i try to pressure him right here we don't want to reach at them on ball because if we foul them then it resets the clock especially behind the half court line it would reset to a full 24. they're just throwing it around six seconds five seconds four seconds they're just it's crazy bro they are wasting a lot of time i ain't gonna lie so it definitely will affect us negatively y'all know we were in fourth place before this game cme gets us out of there with a mid-range right there like a six percent and look at i did drop to five which doesn't seem like a lot but bro i was fourth place for like an hour and a half and now after that game i'm fifth so i'm fifth place i am on the verge of getting out of the top five and not winning at all so right here, 20 to 2. This dude's walking up, shooting a 4. Literally exactly what we want as a defensive team. Played a sharp take, wide open. That's another green. And we were back up to 4. Okay, so we're like, what? 15K ahead of 5th place right there. Uh, he might not be at I mean, he might be in the middle of the game. He could have been at 20 points right there and then just ended as soon as we got into our game. So you never know how big your cushion is because you don't know what the leaderboards are looking like when you're in a game, right? So we're an hour in 4th place. An hour and 52 left. We're playing another GOAT tier team right here another flood we're throwing it to eight one he's throwing it back to me so i can try to get the assist i throw the cme played a sharp tag that's great we're going crazy fourth place right now we're doing a lot better than last server at this point in last server we were like seventh i think maybe ninth uh but then we got banned pretty soon like at the hour mark right about an hour left in the event so hopefully we don't get in the air because okay knock on wood we don't want that happening because that could completely end this attempt altogether right so hour and 45 left we're still fighting okay we get into another game we're playing like nah they're bumps okay they're, they're casual tiers they're not good we're leaving them wide open they're like dancing around the four probably shot a little too deep that dude was like an 82 three-pointer so or whatever he had throwing it right down the cme that's wide open that's another four and we're still in fourth place and you can see like i'm just a little bit behind third so i could actually catch up the third maybe get another some more cushion by sliding into that third spot which would be nice to see because it is very stressful being in fourth or fifth place. Well, let me tell you what, you gotta, you can't even get into a single long game. You can't lose. You can't make many mistakes, okay? We had another game right there. We're at nearly 700,000 my points. We're about a game behind third. We're also got a good cushion on sixth place at this point. And now we're playing Projo. And that dude is literally on the leaderboards for top 10 at one point. And look at, they cherry picking on us. We're throwing sharp to play take. We beat that team as well. They put up a good fight though. And now we're at 715,000. We're playing another GOAT tier uh, player right here. They're shooting mid ranges. Dudes are missing wide open middies. We're throwing it down. Look at CME waiting out the jump. That was actually really smart right there. He greens that shot right there. And now we're at fourth place still, 738,000 my points. And if you guys remember, that's how many my points I finished in the last server on guard. Well, I did get banned for like 30 minutes and didn't play the last hour because once I got unbanned, I was like, okay, I'm too far away. So that is crazy to think about. But we're about an hour and 27 in. So yeah, I was getting more my points than I was on a 92.3. If I was on a 99.3, I probably would have been a lot more at this point. But we're about like 20 minutes ahead of our first attempt which is pretty damn good okay so 
Once again, fourth place, 775,000 mob points. We're playing another bum team. This dude's name is like Sir Percolata or Lighter Later. I don't know what his name is. They're shooting very early, wide open fours. They have no clue what's going on. That's another four. We're at 817,000. We got an hour left. The time is ticking. We're playing another Goats here who walked in with randoms. They're making that shot right there, but it doesn't matter. I got play take. We're throwing to that sharp take, trying to get out of this game as soon as possible. And this dude's reaching at me and gets a steal. I almost get the steal right back. I mean, obviously, I have no um, ball handle on this build, but he plucks me. I get the rebound right back. Almost didn't get it. It was rolling off the rim. Swags with the clutch off ball screen right there. Gets CME wide open, and that's another four point green right there. Okay, so time is ticking, y'all. We cannot mess up even one bad game, one loss, or one game of people holding ball again could completely ruin this entire four hour attempt right here. So right now we're up 20 to zero. This dude gets a decent contest, like an 8% or something, doesn't matter. Green machine going crazy. And look at, we're at, we're, ooh, ooh, it's getting close. Like we're up a game, but I mean, who knows how real truly far behind that fifth spot is, that sixth spot is, because let's get, if I'm checking boards, what if they're at like 18 points in their other game? And then I'm in sixth while I'm in the middle of my game, you know, like it's basically like a coin flip. Who can end the game the closest to the four hour mark and not, you know, finish in sixth place basically right so cme's trolling game point right here the dude's just shooting anything so now we got to play another defensive possession and this time that's being wasted after like a singular miss like that is actually very valuable like look at this dude he's posting me up he's taking forever he's not passing to his teammates i mean i'll take the good shot contest my points they're both jumping at him he dodges the jumps shoots the wide open and we get out of there right we're about to be at a million. I'm like one of the only people in the top five that's not at a million, but we have a very good lead on sixth place. But then we run into another GOAT tier team. So it's like, okay, here we go. We're playing a GOAT tier team. This is another full game I'm going to show. They immediately go in for a dunk. So it's obvious that they don't really care about winning the event. They're just trying to win their games and probably just get their double XP. I hate um, CME and bro. I don't know what was going on with CME, but when we were playing a good team, this dude was not hitting his shots to start the game. I mean, look at he goes 0 for 2 on that possession. We're fouling. We're, we're cherry picking. We're not cherry picking. We're not guarding anybody. It's like, what is going on? We're already down 4 to 0. But that's the great thing about the four point line is, hey, one four pointer and boom, it's a tie game just like that. So I'm telling CME, yo, just hit. Tell me when to hit you. He reaches right as he shoots. And that's a 6% somehow. And it's like, okay, that probably should have been an open, but it wasn't an open. Then he misses again. It's like, yo, what is going on? We're like 0 for 5 from the four point line right now. We're down 6 to 0. Where this is not the time to waste time, okay? He reaches. That's an 20. And then he makes the 23. Like, I don't I don't get it, bro. I genuinely do not get it. Six to four. We get a stop, thankfully, right there. We're not shooting the two. We're taking advantage of our fours because it's just too close. We're at fourth place. We don't want to risk anything. He gets an open shot right there. That's eight to six. And just like that, we got a lead. And then we leave this dude open for four, and he almost made that. I mean, if he made that, we would have been screwed, right? Then we get the wide open fast break. I mean, that's huge. That's a huge miss right there. If he doesn't miss that, we don't get that four. If he makes that, he gets the four. They got a bigger lead. Like, that's a huge turn of events right there. They end up shooting another two because there are no threes in this event, like I said. See me's like three for six, three for seven right now. I'm throwing it to him. They're jumping at him like crazy, and that's just another four shot. He's got to wait out the jumps. Y'all saw him in other games waiting out the jumps. He's not waiting out the jumps right now, leading him into shooting bad shots right there. That's a decent shot, but that's a 7%, and he's missing shots, so his, his momentum's not good right there. We get a steal, but we're out of bounds, 16 to 12. These dudes are shooting minis, and thank God that center sold right there. Misses wide open. I have takeover right now, and I don't even realize it. I'm throwing it to CME. He's trying to wait out a jump. He's not open. Then gets wide open off the decks, and he makes that shot. Thank God. And somehow, that was a 20. Like, how is that dude getting contested? He must have had a high perimeter defense. 20 to 14. I'm in takeover. This should give. This should be it, right? Play takeover. This game is taking a little too long. CME gets wide open, thankfully, on the last possession, and we're finally out of there. And somehow... I'm still fourth place. I don't have as big as a cushion on six that I did before that game started, but we're still in fourth. I mean, that is, oh my God, thank God, okay? 24 to six, we're out of this game now. We're going into another game. I'm still fourth. After this game that we're playing right here with 30 minutes left, I will be at over 1 million my points. This dude is spamming square on me. See me gets wide open on the pull-up jumper off play take and sharp take. 
And of course, that's going to be green right behind the four point line. And look it, I have a decent lead. Y'all can see, but like I said, there's still 30 minutes left. We cannot choke this. I got Mama Mentality takeover. He's shooting wide open with Shark Tape 99 3. We out of there. Fourth place. We're looking good. It's looking like we're going to win this event. I have a deep, I have a good lead, like a 30, 40 K lead. That should be more than enough. That's like two games. I think like the maximum amount of my points you can get in one game is maybe like 25 K. I don't think you can get past that, but yeah, we flood that team right there. And now there's 20 minutes left in the event. I have a comfortable lead. And at this point I'm, I'm all smiles. I'm like, okay, we should be chilling. Okay. It's looking like we're going to get this win, but anything can happen. I've seen some crazy stuff. These dudes are flopping. They're giving up. We win that game, get into another. we got eight minutes to go. We should be able to get what? Two games, maybe three games in if we can get into the event tent before that timer hits zero. So look at, I mean, this was a flood right here. This is a super fast game. He's shooting from D with play sharp take and heat check right there. That's an easy green. Now there's five minutes left. So we finished that game in three minutes. We can definitely get two more games in, which would be huge. That would, if we get that second game in after this game, that would guarantee our event win. So these dudes shoot up four, very late. We're throwing it down. CME shoots that right over him. And now there's a minute left. Oh my God, we're up 39K. It's looking good. You see the timers ticking six, five, four, three, two one those my points count for that game right there the event has ended i'm like okay we should have it there is literally no way i didn't win on my second attempt you know we couldn't complete the goal on winning deep end and placing top five on guard but on center it's looking like we did it so i'm checking the leaderboards but this was last event leaderboard so it's showing me a 14 so i'm like okay it's not showing me where i'm at what's going on i back out i'm like yo and hey i get hit with the congratulations thanks for playing deep end. i screenshot that and we won top five, 25,000 VC, unlimited jump shot boost. And of course the blue event jersey and the blue arm sleeves that only five people in each server got in the entire world. So the rarest arm sleeve in the game and one of the rarest jerseys in the game. So I'm putting on the fit, you know what I'm saying? Putting on the drip that deep ends, you know, gave your boy after securing the top five. And hey, I'm looking better with this deep end fit on. Then I check my boost and look at we finally completed another piece of the puzzle. Unloaded jump shot. All we have left is unloaded blocks. We have unlimited Gatorade, unlimited everything else. And we're going to be looking for that last piece of the puzzle because we need it to complete this challenge. I mean, if y'all thought that we waited long enough for the deep end event, which was a couple months, we had to do it again here for the block boost. Right now it's July 4th and actually one of these 2K League 3v3 events that were already announced actually already ended. I was just assuming it was going to give out dunk boost again because they had this event earlier in the year and it was dunk boost again, but it's actually dunk and block boost and block boost is the only missing boost I have right now. So we did miss the first server, but the good thing is I already know the meta to winning this event it's gonna be pretty difficult though because i'm gonna be like the only guard attempting to win this event without uh using a zen with the shot meter on thing so basically the only guard that's not cheating that's trying to win this event so it's gonna be pretty tough but we have a couple chances this weekend there's still a couple ones left and if we do win this event we complete the challenge and we will unlock all the unlimited boosts in 2k24 and hey, that's all the infinity stones. We get to be Thanos up in here. So anyways, I'll see y'all tomorrow when I load up this 2K League 3v3 event that's giving out block boosts. We are here, the last event needed to complete this challenge. Drop a like if you're still here at this point in the video. The longest 3v3 event of the year. It's a six hour 3v3 event. We started off strong. We were top five. Now, once again, top five gets those block boosts and dunk boosts as well. But we already have the dunk boosts. We're just looking for those block boosts. We ended up off to a kind of a slow start though. You know, 14th place, 15 minutes in. But this is a six hour event. Now, the strategy, of course, is me to score every single point. And if I don't score, I need to get the assist. Not only that, I was trying to help my center win as well. So if I score, I have to score off his assist, right? And then I have a steal on this build as well. So I was trying to get, you know, steals there, here and there when I could. Uh, you know, 19 minutes in, we're in the top, or we're right outside the top five. We were playing a lot of comp to start this event. You see, we we're playing a goat tier point guard right here. In fact, we were playing so much comp that you're going to see later on when I show some of the live points uh, in this uh, event video or this event clip. 
that uh, we like celebrate when we play bums because we were just playing so many sweats because we're at this point in the year where these were everyone's good at this. Uh, there's a lot of good players in this 2K because, you know, usually you know, there's not a lot of good players or top players to start the year because, you know, it, it takes a while for people to adjust to a new 2K. But this is like July, right? So ever anybody who's trying to be comp is comp at this point, right? But not only that, you're going to see a lot of games where we play against cheaters that are zenning and i'll talk about that later and that gameplay is going to be insane because this is this is i mean we're late in the year there's a this game is infested with cheaters okay there's a lot of them uh, especially when you get into the stage or you get into comp situations like this in an event but anyways we're playing a good team right here this team is not cheating though we're up 12 to 6 uh, i got all 12 points we're playing great defense that dude misses a yellow right there i'm going down the fast break and once again we got to end these games fast as well so even when we play comp yes we got to leak out in the break we do if we don't play comp which we that's all we've been playing to start this event then you know we'll cherry pick as well but we end that game right there and look at our reaction to just playing both wow it's about time bro these kids aren't even bots like. they're not even like bot bots but like it's it's about time bro <laughs> i'm over here celebrating when we play a silver tier bro because we were just playing goat tier after goat tier and the games were taking longer obviously it's not like we, we can't beat them like we're beating them but the games are taking longer right so now we're in sixth place and now we're playing this team right here so if you guys didn't know there are a lot of people that use well not a lot like but in these competitive situations like stage and events there are people that use a device where if you turn on your shot meter uh the, the device reads your screen and it can detect your green window so yeah it's a lot of people like to call it a zen a titan whatever this kid was using it okay so you see right here as soon as we see notice that he's using it based off his shot selection and someone that had played him before on our team we started doubling him and what we do is we have me and the other lockdown guard him with both of us with 94 plus perimeter and we have one of us be the jumper so when he's about to shoot we jump and then the other person's just trying to stay in front of him one of us gets the left side one of us gets the right side so right there he had the, my teammate had the right eye had the left he gets the steal we get the fast break and that's a three right there now obviously you're not going to make every shot you attempt with this device but if your connection is good you can make some tough shots like that right there i mean we're both in his face both 94 plus perimeter i'm jumping at him it's a yellow he still makes it i mean his shot selection alone is just questionable right he's just only shooting contested shots literally walking up the court first not have non-heavily shot he's just taken right so we're just completely doubling him they're not taking the two they're not using their other teammates because they know this guy has the best chance of all their teammates to score but they dot the corner because they're sleeping hey, he's ending two he's ending two he just said it in game chat his lock is ending two so yeah y'all heard it here first i i guess live com version of me was saying that the corner was ending two because his center said in the game chat, I wouldn't have thought he was in because it's just a wide open corner three, but his center literally said it like his teammate said that they both were. So now I'm missing open shots, but we're up 12 to nine. We're completely doubling their point guard with the device. We both jump at him heavy and it, and it just goes in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is insane, man. We are competing against people with our thumbs and they're using a device that is reading their shot meter, color coding the green window for them. Uh, so once again, we're just completely doubling. He's shooting from half court. We're both jumping. That gave him an open. So it's not anything crazy, but I mean, he didn't have takeover. Like he's shooting from behind half court with no takeover, no heat check and making it. Uh, anyways, we get a green right there. 18 to 15. Actually, he might've had takeover, but look at great defense. That's what's going to win us this games against these cheaters. And we actually end up winning. And this is my reaction of beating these kids in game chat. Yo, cheating and can't still can't win. Y'all suck, bro. <laughs> I mean, I was obviously happy because like, bro, I'm literally competing against a device with my thumb. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll just, I'm going to show some more of those crazy games against cheaters later in this video right here. This is just a legit game. These guys were giving us a good run for our money. Uh, and yeah, we're down 18 to 16. We need to stop. They're playing ISO. They get a little layup right there. Now we're down 20 to 16. So our back is against the wall. I do have heat check and takeover. So it'd be nice if we could get, get if we could get a three right here. I catch and shoot from the 2K League logo. That's green. Y'all already know heat check and takeover. That's just basically automatic if you're wide open, right? So they get the ball. Any point wins it for them. They could literally get a layup and they will win this game. So we're playing great defense right now. Around the screen, shoots a midi. He missed it. He misses with the game of the line. If we take a two, the game's still going on. But if we get a three, we win the game. So we're trying to fight for a three here. 20 to 19. My lockdown pops out. Wide open three. Gets it to go. 
and we end up pulling off the win right there now as you can see i'm gonna update you guys on the leaderboards throughout the event we finally start playing some bums thank god because we do need these games to get going here you know if we play sweats all day yeah we might win the games but the games can't take too long because you know, the people we're competing with they might get lucky and just play bums after bums like you know and that's not good for us anyways on the fast breaker here we're literally just cherry picking because that team was so bad then we play another sweaty team now this team was also cheating now during this game there was a point where i was just telling my teammates yo we're not gonna win we have zero chance of winning so just try to get as many of my points as possible that's that kid's first shot literally just walks up into my face and just shoots it uh so we were like okay we gotta double him right but this team was running iso you see i'm missing open to start the game so it's not a good start they're running iso i don't know why more cheaters don't do this because then you can't double the cheater and then you just hit the corner three you're screwed so i was like okay let me guard the center i'll take the challenge on with my 94 perm 91 steal and we just had a bad communication they thought they were going to set a screen they're not setting a screen okay they're just isolating so now it's nine to two he's shooting opens i mean we can't leave the center open he's never going to miss that right we gotta at least get a yellow maybe a heavy on him so we're down nine to two against a guy who is cheating and ice wings making it 10 times harder to guard uh so anyways i'm trying to get the off ball over here to the corner we end up getting that over the guard the guard doesn't have any defense on his build so that's perfect nine to five i mean i gotta guard this right i don't know how i'm gonna do that he's just shooting my face i jump at him 77 percent heavily with no takeover i mean dude this is insane how are we supposed to compete with this at this point i'm literally yelling at my teammates yo just give me the ball let me get as many of my points as possible we're not winning this game we have zero chance and i got mad at that shot right there because i'm like bro i'm not getting the assist i'm not getting the shot like we're not winning this game right he shoots me in my face again 41 percent no takeover greens it 15 to 8 i get the off ball to the corner get open that's a green we're down four we need to stop though regarding the inbound and look at me getting the clutch steal right there swags has it and by the way this is swags just on another account trying to help one of his boys win he hits me 15 to 11 any bucket would really be nice ai in the corner with the guard on him gets it to go now we're only down one point somehow we literally have no clue how we're in this game right now they're back to the iso obviously and swags gets you know bites in the corner hits a three i don't know if their corners were cheating but i mean they're wide open three so i'm not gonna accuse them of doing anything those are obviously makeable shots um 18 to 17 right here oh, no. they bought, yeah, they're still on great for a good jumper let's go hit him hit pop hey hey ai pop ai pop hit me back hit me back hit me back hit me back come on come on come on come on don't i got heat check i have heat check bro do not yeah, play yeah, out yeah. of body do not leave a corner home chopper right here home chopper home chopper right on the court no no no, no. don't don't just don't even risk yeah i don't want i got i got bro just let him do his thing yep it's cool it's cool i get a three we win i have heat check i have heat check too don't turn it over don't turn it over i even set the off ball i don't even care about this hold on hold on I'm not gonna set an off ball. I ain't gonna lie. There's no point. Just in case if I need to shoot. Pussy. You're a dog. You're a dog. Cheating and still can't win. Y'all suck. Y'all know that? Y'all suck. That's actually embarrassing. That's genuinely embarrassing, bro. $350 to lose. I mean, that might have been the craziest event game of this entire video. I mean, literally the entire video. I don't know how we won that game, let alone I don't know how they lost that game. That That's just embarrassing. Hopefully, 2K can do something about the cheaters in the future. But at this point, we're top three right now you know we're we're we finally get in a game against some good players right here but we're top three we're locked in and as soon as this game started one of my teammates was like yo i've played this kid before he's cheating so i mean he has zen in his gamer tag so i mean you know what i'm saying that's probably not the smartest thing to do as a cheater if you're trying to hide it but he's not trying to hide it so we immediately start double teaming me on the jumper we're playing sides on it uh they end up i mean they're not going to take the two i don't know why swags held on that corner hits the three um he's probably not cheating in the corner but that's just that's just an easy shot right so three to three i get the ball they're jumping at me i just settle for the easy midi probably not the smartest thing to do but if we get stops you know taking those twos could be smart instead of forcing the three right uh so he's walking up the court obviously we're double teaming him and we bite on another corner and he misses the corner so very late so that dude is not cheating he's actually timing his jump shot and he's shooting very late and we can't get the rebound so we leave the cheater wide open because i'm going down to the the cherry pick but we don't get the rebound and then this dude gets an inbound seal and the whole momentum is a is just messed up now uh, i'm trying to go up to double team him and look at ai with the clutch pluck but we don't get the steal 
and now they hit their center on a pop and he hits that shot they give him a wide open contest there now we're down nine to five so it's not looking good right now uh we've probably been double teaming the point guard a little too much even though like we kind of have to right uh nine to eight we hit the wide open corner for the three and we're down one we need a stop right here we're trying to play sides on it no threes we're willing to give up a two but they're not willing to take a two because they know they can get a three i'm jumping in his face 40 percent still makes it doesn't even matter i pull up wide open three they're playing no defense it looked like that dude was like running laps around the court i don't know if he thought this was like a guaranteed win already uh 12 to 11 we're down one point we're playing three high look at ai he should have got that seal and look at Sorice. he should have got that steal like the game is not rewarding this right there they hit the center he's gonna take it over to the right side of the court we're we're playing great d right now and we end up getting the steal after forcing the trapper animation i'm on the fast break that dude is no perimeter defense so we're gonna shoot that and now we have the lead by two points right now i also have heat check we're completely pressing this dude and we're taking him out the game with that steal back to me with heat check that's a green bang 17 to 12. oh my gosh they're completely throwing this game we're not even allowing them to get a shot up which is what you have to do against people like this he shoots a complete heavily that's not even a greenable shot even with a device so he doesn't make that i'm on the fast break that's green 20 to 12 and wow we are up eight points we're just letting him shoot at this point he can green all the threes he wants this game is over as long as we get a bucket right here and y'all are going to see my reaction in game chat once again of beating a cheater on 2k24 just trying to make a bro tried to nice. bro tried to complain <laughs> about our play style when he's no, plugged words. in so according to live com me uh after you know we're in third place apparently that center in game chat was like talking to us complaining about us using off ball screens but like dude you're literally cheating and you're complaining about our place like i, I don't know bro. I, I don't know man the 2k community bro you, you can't make it up but anyways now you know we're playing bumps which is good because now our games are ending a lot faster you see i'm just completely cherry picking I'm leaving people wide open, which is good because now these games are going to end fast. Missed a shot right there. It's okay. We got the offense rebound. Hit me back. Two for a dollar. Oh, missed it again. It's okay, though. We're going to get it right back right here. These dudes are jumping. A little Jamal Murray. Green, get us out of there. And now with three hours left in the event, we're halfway through. I'm third place. So I'm top five. Things are looking good. We got heat check. We got takeover. We're shooting that front fade three. And that's a green. Yeah, I'm just going to be showing a bunch of the last plays for these games. And you can just see in the bottom left with these scores, we're just blowing teams out game after game i mean if we're competing with cheaters it's gonna be hard for you to beat us legit you know what i'm saying so heat check takeover green got it looking at the leaderboards we're second place so for the first time ever this event we are in second place with two hours and 27 minutes to go so things are looking really good we would really have to sell pretty badly right here 20 to 18 though we end up almost giving up a layup this is a close game and these guys are playing legit but we get the lane steal. That was clutch. Almost go up with a questionable floater right there, but we get open. Oh, not open for three. We green a heavy for game. Our green machine must have been going crazy right there. 18 to three. We got takeover. We're going over here on the off ball screen. Complete blowout. That's another green open shot. And with two hours left, we are second place. So we are really close to the end mark here i mean six hour 3v3 event is just crazy i don't know why they didn't just make this four hours but yeah we're cherry picking now we're i mean y'all already know the method we're just putting up as many shots as possible you can see the three point percentage in the top right too we get 83 percent this game headed on a three right there that game's over 18 of 15 this game's actually kind of close now it's 18 to 18 once we leave that dude open so yeah this was just one of those games where like we're leaving them open and they're just making their shots uh after us like trying to cherry pick basically so yeah they're in this game we're trying to get out of there that could have been a steal if he actually clicked a button we get open off the screen and that's green and thank god we got out of there because losing would definitely hurt us on the leaderboards you can't be losing you gotta end these games fast 20 to 17 right here i just go with the floater just to get out of that game sometimes you gotta just get out of the game right you don't want to risk losing you don't want to make the games take too long uh but a lot of these are blowouts you see 20 to 5 19 to 11 right here trying to get open off ball spot finder grain get them out of here and update on the leaderboards 50 minutes left we're second place so we're basically guaranteed at this point like we would just have to stop playing at this point to lose this event so i'm going out for three that's a green 
and things are looking good 18 to 3 we may make a miss right there going to the corner on the fast break that's a green and wow i mean blow after blowout we get an inbound steal those steals are going to add up those mod points definitely hit because not a lot of point guards or shooting guards have a steal on their build in this event so that's going to help get over here sharp takeover that's going to be green 20 to 13 fast break make it 23 to 13 at this point we dropped swags because he wanted to go help out another team that was like borderline six fifth and we didn't we didn't really need it we were like fine you can go help your friend i'll pick up jay curry because look at the leaderboards we're second with 30 minutes left i mean dude it's over right fast forward 26 minutes later we're third place with three minutes to go and yeah we end up winning the 3v3 2k league event odd shooting guard in our second attempt the seconds are counting down here here's my live reaction to winning we don't have it yet we are literally we have the jump shot boost with the layup boost with the steel boost with the rebounding boost we have the passing ball handling boost we got the gatorade boost even though it doesn't save unlimited it's times 99 it's unlimited i don't know why it doesn't show the unlimited sign i just need my block boost yet or right now we just won the event literally a six hour event too i don't know if it's gonna show now, this was this was the last time i got six so this is my second attempt doing it last time i got six but we just got like third or fourth or something like that and yeah we officially finished third place on the shooting guard list i mean i'm just waiting for my rewards i i wasn't like outside the event center when the event ended so that's why i think it's just i have to just wait at this point and and so i just get them because they're not gonna pop up ladies and gentlemen i think when i load up my boost right now i should have it yeah we did it unlimited jump shot unlimited lamps and dunks unlimited blocks unlimited steals unlimited rebounding unlimited passing and ball handling unlimited gatorade i'm gonna try to buy some boosts right now i mean i can't buy any of them. <laughs> we actually completed the challenge with this 3v3 2k league event giving me the unlimited block boost holy cow you just saw my VC skyrocket from winning the event as well. So we did secure the 3v3 2k league event and we've completed the challenge. Hey man, now our account is just looking crazy, man. We have all these maxed out builds and yeah, I mean, we unlocked every single unlimited boost. We have every infinity stone. We're literally Thanos basically on 2k24. If y'all enjoyed this type of video, make sure to drop a like because obviously this took a long time to record, a long time to put together. Make sure to subscribe to the channel 900k on the way and let me know if we should do this challenge for NBA 2k25 as well. It's been your boy Henry aka Double H. No matter y'all. Peace.